Hey, welcome back to the Wiley verse. One mm-hmm. minute early. Not the Robert verse. It's back to Wiley verse. Oh, oh, I'll get you next time, gadget. <laughs> my my first crush, by the way, Penny on the original Spectre gadget. I know you talk about it a great deal. That is a weird, there's, first, there's, there's, is a weird first crush. A, I know. There's a lot of artwork out there. I'm. Well, the, I, now there's Rule 34, so... Yeah, I know, the, the I internet, know, that's right. I, I had a crush on her before the internet was a thing. Yeah. The, the saddest Rule 34 I ever looked up was Moana. Uh, Where I was like, is that really... Uh, it can't be a real, I was like, that can't be a real thing. Yep, Moana. Oh, Moana? Moana, from the movie Moana. Isn't she yes. young? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Wait, isn't a penny for that fact? Well, <laughs> well yeah. I was also <laughs> 10. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I'm going to stop you right there. What an interesting start yeah. to the Wiley uh, this evening. We're live, folks. On recorded. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, for those... Uh, that watched last week. We had a one-shot run by Robert. It was fantastic, but we had to kind of cut the end a little bit short. So I just wanted to do a quick recap of, of how it ended. Uh, so we won. We defeated Robert. You did. You did. <laughs> I died horribly. Uh, he died alive. horribly. Uh, one of us got to get immortality. Yes. Uh, what if you got to turn to the... That would just become... The hunter. Being part of the hunt forever and ever and ever and yeah, ever. Yeah, remember the hunter you encountered <clears throat> with arrow in his chest. Which is cool. Doesn't make sense because if you replace the hunter, then the person next to you would replace the hunter, and that's not immortality. Yeah, but it... So... It's Faye immortality because yeah. the thing is that you become part of the immortal story of it. Right. So it's kind of becoming sort of a bit of a hive collectiveness <clears throat> bit, sort of a, it's just deep enchanted magic, which is what the Fae are about. That's why elves and all of Sylvan races have resistances against enchantment <laughs> stuff. And charm and everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. So, uh, I did not take the immortality. My character wouldn't want to live incarcerated forever. No, you did get the crown though, and they got the. I got the. If crown. you ever want to play that character again, their reward from their from their their fate pact master was the was uh, for once per long rest uh, be able to travel, uh, either to or from the the the, the fate wild and the prime material plane. I fell asleep way early in that. <laughs> Apparently. Like, so, what? I remember that you guys were all gathered for the hunt. <laughs> but we are back for the Dragonborn game. Uh, with me, as always, down at the end there is Robert. Mm. I'm playing Rofrost, the mostly oh, oh, oh. undaunted paladin of. <laughs> mostly undaunted. I'd say about 98% undaunted, uh, which is pretty damn good if you ask me. He uh, He's seen a, a lot of shit, okay? Paladin of Bahumat and a bronze yes. dragonborn? That's right. Yes. Bronze, copper, Thanks. silver. I just didn't realize, like, the brass bronze I like, I always, get me. Yeah. always get me. Oh, you were messing up the dice, too, at the beginning. Uh, yeah. You mm-hmm. thought those were mine. Anyway, I just want to say, like, honor means a lot to me, so if you all start saying mostly a daughter to me, it's going to... Well, well, no one said that to you, but you also said it way under her breath. Uh, next to him, back from the rarely discussed 10th level of hell, Arkansas, is <laughs> Zeranax, is Mitch playing Zeranax. Uh, what I'm most excited about tonight is to hear, <laughs> is, is to hear Zeranax's accent with a southern draw. I can't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be a hard thing to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you just sound like Mario. I know. <laughs> I mean, how can you mix? Like, you know, uh, he is playing Mario. an arcane trickster and one of the underhanded of the clan, which is someone that has been away from the clan, living amongst the other races, uh, of from the, away from the Dragonborn, living with the other races. Next to me is Dayton, playing Lord Savroth, a noble of the clan, uh, priest of Bahumat, and kind of leader of this crazy epic quest going on. I am Wily, I am the GM, and I am also the enigmatic and mostly useless Ayasa, 
the mage uh, dragonborn who was trained by a Cormirian war mage. Also, her attack spells are very useful. Oh, they're very stuff. useful yeah. in combat. It's Mostly just everything else about her. That's <laughs> what I would say. Um, I always love when she also. gives us when she gives us GM hints and we just ignore the <laughs> shit out of it. Like fuck that. <laughs> no poaching, especially. Cats. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you made notes about it. Uh, okay, so I am going to try to do the most succinct and quickest recap. Because this is kind of technically the. Stop it. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> get, get, yeah, get it out of here. For those for those playing along at home, uh, <laughs> uh, this is uh, Jeff Goldblum holding up a corgi, corgi backwards, exposing its butt. Uh huh. Dayton has a fun little life rule that says if at any point he sees Jeff Goldblum. Or a corgi butt, he has to take a drink or a shot. Uh, so we made these, uh, a friend of ours made these, and we now carry around and plant them everywhere. Yeah. I have one in my wallet, too. Yeah, it's the only picture I have in my wallet. Remind me not to go back and watch this episode. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The fun, so. parts that, fun parts that works, we work in a bar, he and I. So I'll pour a shot sometime during the day, usually around noon when I think about it. Go and then, check the oil in it. And then I'll, the I'll tape that picture to it and then hide it in the restaurant. And Dayton will be going about his daily chores. La, 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 la. Fuck! And, like, it's taped to a shot. Like you, so he has to... So he takes it off. So life rule. This yes, is his life. life. He does it all the time. He, like, when Thor we, Ragnarok almost killed him. Yep, Thor Ragnarok almost killed him. He had when I saw that he, in theaters with these guys. Like I was just like, we got to like the midway point for Ragnarok, which is in the arena and all that stuff. He was only halfway through his drink, and he's like hitting the button and ordering another because yeah. it's just all Jeff Goldblum all day. Yeah. After that, love to see how long that lasts. By the way, viewers, if you haven't known, our friend Savrock has uh, Savrock. Mm, Savrock. Savrock, huh? So I, he's my rock, so I call him Savrock. It's oh, my little Jesus. nickname for Prince Savrock. This is and, the new one, uh, my Savrock. <laughs> did we, did we know he? Do you have a? Do you have an actual ring now? It's, you do, mm. you do, yeah. Um, our prince has been engaged <laughs> to a very lovely uh, dragon lady in uh, Tear Manther. Show off your ring. Oh. Show off your ring. Everyone's seen her hand. Yeah, they've before. seen her. Actually, <laughs> her hand has appeared a couple of times. <laughs> okay, uh, so the quickest recap ever, over that? Okay. Yep, is the fact that they're all Dragonborn, they're all from the same clan. Their clan is the wealthiest clan, it's not the most militaristic, it is one that's kind of more open-minded, and they try to make trade agreements and they go out exploring. Uh, Tyrmenther is a shared space, it was, it was from another world, it came into this world, but the nation that was there beforehand came back. And that nation is racist and has an immortal god king that wants his land back. And they are now assaulting the dragonborn, the proud and mostly peaceful dragonborn of Tyrmenther, pushing them all the way to the coast. There's only a couple cities left of, of Tyrmenther. Uh, most of it has been conquered. It's been a hard war. <clears throat> yep. And... And we abandoned it. Through this... Remember that? Well, I'm about to talk about that. Let's, we didn't let's, abandon it. Come on. Down. Come on. Trying to get a quick recap. Uh, sorry, sorry for feeling the set of feeling. Robert, we're back to the Wileverse. Shut your mouth. Uh, oh. It's not the Robert verse anymore. So sorry, yeah, I please. changed it back. I, I changed it back. It's Wileverse again. Uh, so, My apologies. Uh, a messenger came to Lord Savroth and said, "You're not going to find your find your salvation here. Staying here is just going to end in tragedy for all dragon kind." All the dragonborn kind. Uh, but there may be something out there that can save you. Uh, and sent them on this quest. This quest has taken them out of their land. Uh, he's assembled this ragtag group of folk. Took them all the way to Kormir, where Ayasa was trained. Talked to a diviner who set them upon a path. And they found a piece of metal called platamantium. Possibly a remnant of Bahumat's weapon, um, physical weapon. I hate that it's still possibly. <laughs> it's, it's, it's still possible. Like, uh, it's like 37 held this thing. Probably. And then they, they had to go figure out what to do with this, and they went and researched, they went on adventures, they went all up and down the Sword Coast, 
all the way up to the north in Icewind Dale into a ancient dwarven city with a forge, an amazing dwarven god forge, where they hammered a weapon, a dragon lance, almost, a blade lance. It took us almost 30 sessions to get that. Oh, yeah. And now they have this amazing weapon, which could possibly save their entire kingdom. Uh, but there's still a couple steps to it. There, there's, it still hasn't unlocked its full potential. Uh, and when they came back to civilization, they found that one of their nemesis, nemesi, nem nemesis, uh, the Lord Crane, a red dragon from the Grey Peaks, in service to the wearers of purple and ultimately Tiamat, uh, is now attacking Koromir because Koromir declared an alliance with Tyrminther. So they are now going to try to get to Cormir and help them in any way they can because they know that Tyrminther needs those allies and if they're tied up by Lord Crane's forces, they're not going to get it. Uh -huh. And that's where we, are, where we are now. But not before a group of assassins set upon them and very specifically tried to separate that lance from his hand. Uh, so you know that you, people are still after you. There's, they're very much aware uh, and trying to get you. They've been following your movements, and they're everywhere. Uh, even that shortcut through the upper dark didn't save you from their prying eyes. They had people waiting for you in Galtalgrim. So, you are on the road... <clears throat> Heading from Gauntlegrim to Neverwinter, mm -hmm. where you hope a teleportation circle awaits that can get you to Cormir. Yes. And if I recall, the Caravan Master survived the assassination of the soul. He did. Actually, no dwarves were hurt because they were just after you. So no one died during the thing. That's funny, like, that was what was playing in my head as you said it. <laughs> no dwarves were hurt in the making of this. <laughs> like, God damn it. Hernum. What's his name? Hernum. Still is. It still is his us. name, yeah. Hernum yeah. <laughs> uh, and his crew uh, take you along the pass the roads through the through Neverwinter Forest. Uh, it is not a very long journey. Uh, Gontelgrim is fairly, like, pretty much right outside of Neverwinter. Just two days to get there. Uh, Neverwinter awaits. You go through the gates much like you did the first time you arrived, but unlike the first time, uh, you aren't ambushed by a drake. Or hunters, and mm -hmm. you're not escorting a werewolf. It's a dragon this time. Practically a royal welcome for our... Right. Mm -hmm. uh, but you make your way through uh, to Protector's Enclave. You're making your way through the manor of Lord Never Ember. Uh, make me perception checks. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. Sorry. Where's my, where's my bronze 220? There it is. Oh yeah. Is that a 15? Wow! 18. I just died off the Yeah, alright there, Wiley. <laughs> well, take the reins there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Here we Next go. Next to the line. The move down, move down, move down. Okay. Ouch. That really hurt. I forgot there was a bookcase out there. Ow! Oh. Hi. Jesus. Hi, everyone. Whew. You came out quick. You just go out there just to chip in that bookcase. Yes, <laughs> so we that just. Was exactly <laughs> right. You know what? Let me go hurt myself real quick. Bam, done it. Come on, guys. I need to hurt myself. I'll be right back. Oh, Good I thing so I have you, that what advantage. What do you think about sitting in this chair, <laughs> staring at this light, <laughs> being um, over yeah. here? First of all, that's, this. A, that's a lot of light in my face. Yeah. Gotta say, that is. Um, so, and this is when I was streaming online gaming. I had both those, because you want to cancel all shadows behind you, uh, uh, especially for green screens. It fuzzes out if you only have lighting going one way. 
So that's why like this and this kind of cancel each other out. The lighting. I felt that I could see my face okay, yeah. just a little bit washed. Mm -hmm. But hey. yeah, you can see it. The only thing that was weird about yours was the the shirt going in and out. Right, because you were wearing screen. a. You were wearing a blue shirt, which is very close to green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, no, you were doing blue I'll shirt. The other way, that was a green, green shirt. shirt, yeah. shirt so it's like I can't. I have to make sure I do not wear green or blue. But even the black, because it's it's negating two black. Yeah, like I might as well just so. wear black. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. Right. It's cool. It's all about the content, not the pretty faces. What? Uh, all right. At least that's why I hope to believe, because if that were the case, then, ooh, boy. We had more viewers last There's week. There's my character. Know. Oh, I have so much health points. Oh. All right. Um, Are you just talking to yourself? What's happening over there? Look at my character sheet. Home. So do you need to know these roles? I do. Yes, or um, does Robert need to talk about his health points? I, need, I do need to look at my... 14. Life. 23. So I the tablet is perception. Yep. Correct. That is going to be a twenty-two. Fucking <laughs> underhanded, not catching anything <laughs> again. Um. So protectors enclave. Going through there, uh, there's a, a major bazaar in the middle of it, like a trading area, with stalls and you know a hustle and bustle of people going in and out. Uh, and while you're there, um, for whatever reason, you and you notice that there's this gnome at a stall, and he's haggling over a lamp. Looks like an oil lamp. Uh -huh. uh, but he's haggling over the oil lamp, and the person he's haggling with looks up at you, and the gnome turns around and looks over at you, and then kind of turns back. And just a, it's, out of all the people that turn to look at you as dragonborn, as whatever, because it's not normal for that, plus your weapon, uh, this transaction just seemed weird and to stand out. Uh, he's wearing robes that are gray with gold trim. They're finely embroidered. He seems like a noble of some sort. Uh -huh. A noble? Noble. Not a noble. But that was it. He just kind of like, the the merchant noticed you, and then he turned around and noticed you, and went back about his business. I'm a special point to stay close to uh, Savroth and have two hands kind of Pulling my lance around as we go by. So you're basically walking on like this. Well, uh, like, I mean, just yeah, carry yeah, it. Yeah, just, it's an impressive lance. Most people stop and look at you and part for you yeah, because and I give them a you guys, go, right? Yeah, you guys uh, don't look like slouches. You guys are you know you glowing, look, golden, and shiny. Yeah, you look, look like level. warriors and and a noble and. A powerful wizard and their guide. <laughs> yeah, like, rare, rare guys. Like, it's a little guy. Like, <laughs> just because it's daytime, I mean, like, what, we'd still, we still like, glow with light even oh, yeah. though it's daytime. So that's, that's. Hey, your weapons are both, you know, super shiny, specific weapons. Uh, so most people, when they look at you and notice you, like, take notice and, like, oh, wow, like, uh, and get out your way. Thank you. So, Thank uh, you. One you side. if you're not doing anything to that, which you know, why would you? I mean, yeah, you could, but you pass through and make your way to to Nor Lord Never. Out of character is like, yes, I would love to interact with a possible lamp of things, but uh, I don't think Rofus would think of it. He just, he, but you would say like. I, keep, I don't want to look to that shop. Keep, remember, there might be assassins about still. You might just take notice that they look fancier than the other people around. Some, something's going on there, but it's not yeah. important. Yeah. yeah. I pointed out. pointed out to both of you. So, yeah. so you look over and you see this gnome as well. So I just want to make sure everyone knows that they see this gnome in the shop here. I even want you to know. 
All right, I, I you you make your way through back to the to Never Ember's. Uh, yeah. Stay right oh, here. Yeah. Did you bring that sticker, or did he have? I brought a bunch of them. So I, I got a bun. Uh, his his, e peen over there, has a for rectal use only sticker. I got a whole like sticker pack from Card Against Humanity, mm-hmm. which are a bunch of things like that, yeah. which are you know, gorilla stickers, you know, to, yeah. to throw on things to make. Well, that them. one I I saw that you could order them online. And yeah. I was like perfect. So I I saw they were eight bucks. And I ordered them, and I was like, "Oh, that's five hundred. And then I realized yeah. it's two rolls per box. It's one thousand. I got a thousand for rectal use only stickers so, for eight dollars plus free shipping. Let's uh, need to give some sheets <laughs> yeah. out. So yeah. can... I got about forty feet of it. <laughs> oh, I put one on a fork and rolled it in some silverware. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. gonna be fantastic. Yeah. The people, yeah. the nurses opened it at the nurse table. They found really? it. Yeah, and they, they opened it up. And they're like, "Oh, anyway." I put it on Damn the muddler. It. I put it on the muddler at work. That's that. Yeah. <laughs> Jan thing. <coughs> of course, Shane's putting on everything. Yeah. So it's just Shane. All right. Did you tweet us that? Put one right yeah. there. I need to. Uh, yeah. Do it. So, uh, you make your way to Lord Neverember's Manor. Should. Did you put one in there? No, I don't have any with me. Uh, there in the car. How? How do you? I'm, a thousand. <laughs> you to have uh, one on me somewhere. Uh, so you make your way to the Lord Never Ember's uh, chamber uh, or manor, and you like present yourself at the gates, and upon sight, the guards even know who you are because you spent a lot of time here, and yeah. you were the, one of the few adventuring parties that have gone ventured into Castle Never and come out. Uh, on behest of Never Ember. So you're ushered right in. Uh, you are brought in while Lord Never Ember is in council with his... Ooh. It's his group. It's his uh, captain of the guard and his seneschal, essentially. Um, do, 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 this is going back a ways. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Uh, it is oh, oh. General Sabine and Mayor Soman Galt. Soman Galt, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I read, I uh, along yeah. with several other people that are there, which are of his court and of his advisors. Um, what protects the Galt? Never. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, he looks up and you know exclaims, "Ah, you have returned! You forged it! Ah. Amazing!" There's no will that will stop the grace of Lord Savroth Goldath. Well, welcome Double back, thing. welcome back. <laughs> what is it that I that I can do for you? I'm looking for the travel circle, aren't we? Yeah, yeah the magic yeah. circle. We got to get to Cormier. Well, we indeed do have a such circle in Protector's Enclave. You heard you sent forces already to Cormier. Surely you know the situation, then. We do know of the situation. Unfortunately, because of the winter, we haven't dispatched the forces yet. They are still being mustered, and once the snow breaks, they will be sent forth to Cormier. Marching over the continent, can they use the portal themselves? It is not logistically plausible to use a magic circle to teleport an army. Oh... It is for oh. <laughs> small <laughs> groups of import, such as yourselves. You just said large, seven hundred squads of small important souls. <laughs> I don't know anything about magic circles, like as a player. Teleportation. So I keep saying magic circle. Is it magic circle is a little bit different, uh, but teleportation circle is what it is. Uh, so teleportation yeah. circles are a magic spell, uh, and what you do is you cast a spell and you draw a circle on the ground and you put in runes. And those runes correspond to a specific other magic circle. If that is a real place and you know that sequence... So this is a spell plus you can, physical components sort of thing. Yeah. Now, if you cast that spell every day with its component cost every day, which costs thousands of gold, 
in the same place for one year, you make a permanent circle with its own coordinates. Yeah. And so all across the realms, in Waterdeep, in several places in Waterdeep, in, in Candlekeep, uh, in here in Neverwinter, in the, the Protector's Enclave, uh, at Tolan's uh, Tower, there are these magic circles. Yeah. And it's a fifth level spell, which is above what Ayasa can do. So she is hoping that there is someone here that can take you gotcha. through. Yeah, once we sent off the she, wizard. The thing there. is that once you learn the spell, like, and this is a little bit kind of behind the scenes, she's been everywhere you guys have been going. If there's a magic circle nearby in the magical oh, community, she's been, she's really been she's been taking those things. Like she knows Neverwinter had it. That's why she suggested it. Yeah. She has Neverwinter's coordinates. She has. Uh, and you keep telling Tolins, her she's used she this. has this. She's never used it, but or she's used. But she's writing them down. So the moment she learns the spell, you'll be able to teleport to any of these places at any time from her. She'll just be able to make it and go. Gotcha. What's so, up, Tutu? Tabletop to keyboard. What's going on? What's up, Tutu? Tutu. What's up, Tutu? Tabletop Tutu. Uh, back to Dragonborn this week. Yes, we, we are. are finally. Back to Neverwinter. Um, so she knows the coordinates to her master's tower. She just has to hope that someone here will take you guys through or they'll make something available to you to, to do that. Uh, yeah, we are... They are trying to head back to Cormier to, to save the day there because Cormier is under attack for allying with the Dragonborn. And if we happen to encounter Lord Crane and happen to slay him with the big weapon... We don't even have to slay him, really. We just have to quench. Nope, you have to kill him. Yeah, I, mean, I think I say yep. that every time we bring this up. The, the, the term... It's good, it's the, 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 the quest step is... is we don't need to stab him. We the, kill him. Yeah, the quest Fine. step is quench yeah. the blade in the blood of a dragon, which translates to kill a dragon with that weapon. I know. Yeah. I've brought it up every single time. Every time I yeah. say it, I'm like, oh, fuck. Um, so yes, that's what she's hoping. And that's what you say to Lord Never in birth. Um, so he's like, of course, of course, I, I can provide you. Yeah. Just give us some blood. Yeah. Just, oh, thanks. Uh, just have a gold dragon come down and say, yeah, good. Yeah. Just, yeah. A little bit. Why don't we find a good? Dragon? We can still do that. We'd just be like, "Oh, thanks." Yeah. Oh. Like, kill it. <laughs> like, I am which, actually pretty sure. Oh, it has by to the be way, evil dragon. before Tiamat returned, the purple dragon cult did scams like that because they're assholes. Uh, they used to be all about Draca liches, not regular dragons. Now that Tiamat's back, they're more about real dragons. Yeah. But their scam for Draca liches was. So Draculich is an undead dragon. Immortality, just like a lich, even if you kill it, it can come back. Yeah. Uh, if you don't find the phylactery where its soul is stored. But to come back, it needs another body to inhabit. So they would go to a dragon and court it and pretend to be its servants and say, we'll make, turn you into a Draculich, you'll live forever and have all this extra power and be immortal. And it's like, cool. So they'd set up this big, ridiculous ritual. And the dragon would, you know, sacrifice itself to become a Draculich, and then they just walk away. They just let it kill itself and drop down, and they're like, okay, this is a body for our wow. already existing Draculich buddy. We just got a dragon to kill itself, to donate its body to our already existing Draculich. Hmm. <laughs> we should do something like that instead of having to kill a dragon. Perhaps we can find a suicidal dragon. <laughs> right? Convincing dragon to just kill itself. Uh, Is there any emo dragon? Fall upon right? this lens. Uh, so, um, yes, he absolutely states you know, he will get you through that portal. Uh, he has a wizard that can open the way oh, if, you know, if you know the coordinates. I um, thought for sure there's going to be a whole thing, rigmarole sort of thing. We, we can just do it. But he stated that he has uh, a full legion that he's mustered of his gray cloaks and mercenaries that once winter breaks from the roads he's going to be sending them to Cormier to help out but that's two months, months, two months away at least yeah. <clears throat> so 
So we'll have the problem solved before then. Got it. <laughs> I mean, that's the life of the player. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> man, like, uh, silly adventures. Just, we'll just end our, our session tonight. We'll, we'll just hang yeah, out and yeah. set up a camp. And we'll, we'll just wait two months. We'll wait two Sorry, months yeah. until it's ready. Uh, when you, like... Do you need any other services before you leave? Well, I would like a bath, personally. I don't know what's usual. Absolutely. You, uh, we have rooms awaiting you. <laughs> Excellent. So I guess rest is really kind of what he's getting at. Yeah. Maybe we you can rest. Away. Yeah, I mean, you were on the road with the dwarves for a while. Yeah. Two days. I was going to say, was it that long? <laughs> it was days. I looked back and I thought I thought that original I made that original trek from Tiermanther to Cormier really long. It was ten days. It was one week, like five yeah. days to Sharkgate, five days to Cormier, uh, oh, okay. plus with the attack of the Sahagan in there. Yeah, yeah. I remember Sharkgate being pretty short. Yeah, it was like we were on the boat and then we were there, and I was like, oh, here we are. Oh, so well, you, you did get attacked the first time you were a balloon. Mm-hmm. You got attacked on the way there. First day out. Yep. Come on, come on, brother. Let us, let us bathe. Together. And talk. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do. I do. It's like, let's bathe and take this yeah, rest yeah. and talk about what we're going to do. Now that we know that we're going to pop right over there. And is there anything you want from Neverwinter before you go to Cormac? That's why we need a bath. We need to figure these things out. Don't be shy, for God's sakes. We've almost died together for so many times. Let's talk and rest and re- just enjoy ourselves. Why do you want to bathe with us so poorly? Oh, because I need to talk to you and I want a fucking bath. Is what I... <laughs> you want a fucking bath? Ooh. Hey. I mean, hey, you are Dragonborn. You... You mate for procreation. You do... Other stuff for recreation. Ah. And remember, you don't stay with your mates, so. Right. Well, these are my mates. God damn it. Right. Anyway. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't think you were so meek. I can't Bisexual murder hobos. Say, I mean, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Wandering the country. Murder hobos. That'd be a great Sunday morning cartoon. <laughs> I can't think of anything that Xeranax needs to take care of. Right up there I would ask shops. about information for... Again, that other part of this weapon. Oh, so I know we got information from the three brothers, the the three scholars. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you ask them, if you tell them what you were told by the three scholars, you'll put some of his sages on it. Uh, so forge it, quench it. Oh, well, that's for, bless it. Consecrate it. Yeah, consecrate. So. <laughs> If, and their scholars will say to you, if you indeed have to get it blessed by God, like it has to be true divine power, then you're looking for a place where gods touch earth, for one thing. Some of the major temples can have that. Uh, Some major holy sites, they can list you a couple. Like there's one in uh, the... Not one here. No, absolutely not. Uh, uh, there might be one in Castle Never somewhere, but it's probably corrupted or going to the wrong god. Uh, or what are go the, back in there? Yeah, it's like, or not worth going <laughs> right. back Right, what for. a... Right, not for on. the thing, not for a possibility. Uh, what's the... Oh, those Isles there, on the outside? Moonshe? Moonshe, the Moonshe Isles. The Moonshe Isles has one uh, they know of. Um... Otherwise, you're looking for an avatar of a god... Or a chosen, which is a person who is. Isn't that Paladin, but the protector of Tolan? Isn't she? Cho- no, she's an Asimar. She's not chosen. Is she chosen? The the protector of Tolan. I know Tolan. very little of our religion. Do you remember? No, it's not our. It's not our religion. It's. Remember that? Remember that when we were dragging our asses after the fight with the Drake and got into Tolan's, Tolan's little hideout, we we talked about the stolen chalice. There was that Asimov paladin that greeted us, chosen of Helm, chosen of Helm, 
chosen of him. Hmm. Notice that, didn't you? Uh, there's only a couple people that they know are chosen. One is this uh, ruler to the south. She rules a nation. Um, you know, the scholars say it, but it's it's like on the way down to uh, what's the Arabian nation? Cult. Oh, not oh. Chult, past Chult. Oh, oh, Kalimshah. Kalimshah. Yeah, it's there's a nation there's a nation down there that has a ruler that's a chosen. Uh, Elminster is a chosen. He's in the Dale Lands, which are right next to Cormier. Uh, he is a chosen of Mistra. Oh, uh, it's probably some. But he's posing some, as some old hag playing dice with tieflings out in the woods, or who knows? Who knows where the hell he is? Yeah. He goes all over the place. Um, they haven't heard of this woman that you're speaking of, though. But if what you say is true, then if there's a chosen of Helm in Cormir, yes, uh, they could. Do that would that would do it. It just has to be of a has to be of a good aligned god. Power has to touch and bless that blade. Well, I mean, are we heading to Cormir? Right, yes. you're heading right to the tower where you met her, Adra Helmborn. Is that her name? Could be. It's definitely Adra. Adra. Is it Adra? It is definitely Adra. Adra. She greeted us. Was, she escorted us to, to greet Tolan. I didn't know what her fucking deal was, but she said she followed some god named Helm. I scoffed her at the time. what her fucking deal was. Well, she was nice, so... Yeah. She was a paladin on a war horse. Well, I get it now. <laughs> I didn't believe any of this shit until we forced the weapon. <laughs> What's your to do that? <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know if I told you much history about her, but... No, you didn't. Good. You about it now? Nope. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you get nothing. Adra. No. So regular divine magic just comes to people because they adhere or get it. It's not divine, direct divine touch like it's the law of the worlds because priests can just adhere to those laws and get the magic they need a god to make a conscious decision mm -hmm. to do that and gods you need the god an avatar which is a god in mortal form or one of the chosen someone that they bestowed and said you represent me yes the mm -hmm. would be a next one choice especially as we're going to be teleporting to now, we need to be specifically clear. Where exactly are we teleporting to? Tolan's Tower. Tolan's Tower. And Adria is Tolan's protector. Correct. So, that'd be a good league. What allies do we have? We're, we might be dropping into the middle of a, We're dropping in the middle of a siege. they have be set upon by, what are the doors say, three armies? And the dragon. Did I say three? Better make The dwarves said three. Oh, yeah. better make uh, no, they said there there there's a goblin army to the west. There was a, a lich raising an undead army to the uh, east. Chessy is raising a demon army. They want to anyway. Well, they want to, but yeah, they're trying to get Tiamat yeah. back out of a layer of hell and I mean, in their own place. They might succeed. I don't know what their plans are. Sure. Um, and. There's a band of mercenaries in the heart of the country dis uh, disrupting trade. But that's what the dwarves said. So it's all this tower. Where, where in Neverwinter was that located exactly? It's not Neverwinter. No, it wasn't Cormier. about... Yeah. Oh, yeah, Cormier. Sorry, yeah, yeah. It was in Braden Downs. You just made me double-guess everything. We were like, where in Neverwinter is it? Never went. Yeah, no, sorry. I was like, so, sorry, sorry. I was like, we're I never went now. We're never went now. Well, I get that. I just you made. Yeah, I was like, you just made me. Man. That was like. Do they still get form? divine intervention? I, I was paying attention. They. Oh, I don't know. Actually, yeah, I haven't seen a lot. There's man that old rule: one percent, one percent chance that you can. Uh, and it gets harder every time you use it. I think if you get it, yeah, every. Yeah, I don't know. man, yeah. that was a crazy rule. I mean. Advance me to level 10. Yeah, I think, was, I think that's right. <laughs> I think it was your level as a percentile. Oh, uh, okay. So and every time it kicked yeah. off, it would bump down another. Uh, so, I don't know if you've level. seen, but they're coming out with an adventure. It's not coming out till September. It's called The Descent into Avernus. 
uh, the first level of hell. And Whoa. they're creating some crazy ass crap. Like I wanna play some of these devil some of these contracts. New, I wanna play some of these new You adventures. can just go, I can I gain two levels? And the devil's like, sure. Sign this. Yeah. Uh, uh and it has all these things. Uh it's got some pretty cool stuff. Uh, and they do soul coins, like you can literally have a soul person sold a coin. A custom hell. Which you can trade and like or a use the power. power or a custom nine li- like you mean uh table feather keyboard? Um so Alright, so where's breaking down is near the docks, is it? No. Hmm. It's up in the kind of north uh west. I just want us to consider strategically where we're gonna be dropping into. So you remember you went you were at you <coughs> You boated into Stoneport. Yes. Then you traveled quite a ways through Cormier, up yeah. almost to the northwestern corner where Braden Downs is, just a sleepy okay. little town next to a river. Uh, that's where you got in. Like, on the way there, you got ambushed by the Drake the first time. That's beyond Cormier's walls? No, 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 no. It's still in still- Cormier. But it's just kind of rural Cormier. Was it in walls, though? No, not in walls. Okay, well, that's important to remember. Uh, all right. So, anything else you want from Cormier? I'm oh, sorry, uh, Neverwinter. <laughs> now you got me thrown off. <laughs> uh, like, yeah. Anything else you want from Neverwinter? You want to check the bazaar? You need equipment? You want How to much, do anything? What, what, what kind of resources are we working with here? What kind of? I mean, the resources you have in, in on hand. Look in your equipment. Well, I know. You got I'm saying <laughs> we should look at these. I'm saying I'm asking all of you in character. What sort of resources? That's why I said like I. I'm not rich. I'm well off, but I there's nothing I need. My bow is good. My my boots are good. Well, maybe the blades are good. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's I don't know strange esoteric things we might want to. It sounds like is there something you want? From? Well, I don't know. I mean, you have a lance that slays evil like it was a part time job. Oh, I know, but maybe it maybe doesn't even have the time to dedicate. Maybe, like, full time, just like, maybe yeah, somebody wants a potion of stone skin that gives them an hour's worth of. Uh, physical damage resistance. I don't know. Like, shit. Let's go to the magic shop, lol. Y- yeah. You I guys mean, did that before and, like, the prices all ran you off. <sighs> We're more well off now. You know? Well, you uh, asked. You asked. Is there yeah, no, I, and I, really. And I'm saying, well, hey, maybe there is. And you're all, you're all, yeah, you're all sh- do it. You all shit on poor noble rule for us. I'm not shitting on poor noble for us. I mean, you can get some uh, dark vision potions. It's true. Is there a thieves guild here that has a shot? Take us sort of to thing? The Are you gonna look shop. for a thieves guild? Yeah, why not? I got mustard on my shirt. <laughs> All that jokes about mustard, I got it on my shirt. Oh really? Yeah. Sucks to suck, bro. Sucks to suck. Does it? You tell me, bro. I'm getting free mustard here. <laughs> the mustard. The mustard is free. I'm getting a free mustard That's stain so on your shirt. Free. Sucks. That's Just there suck. for fucking ever. Yeah, let's look like an hour. I've never looked for a thieves guild. Let's look for more. Is there a darkest yeah, dungeon? Um. Uh, make a magic potions. I say. Rofra says, "Are the <laughs> potion maker?" I want a potion maker. Uh, make a blue light special and fire scrolls <laughs> plus two losses. Come to Magical Costco for all your. <laughs> his, his mom left the most racist <laughs> character on The Simpsons. Got it. <laughs> mm, go to the magic shop, Oh, you were just reading that. I thought you were like shitting it. Hey. Use my temp- Oh. Yeah. I'm just not reading the. What's over there? Big UNSC box. God, that is a big UNSC box. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> UNSC <laughs> box. I'm, I'm, we're looking to. Oh, yeah, yeah. You want to see the. Halo. Tell us generally what he's rolling. Uh, yes. Animal handling? 
Yes. <laughs> roll animal handling. Do <laughs> uh, you? Oh, so, I get, why would I very, roll animal I don't know, but I'm like very excited. <laughs> It's a really low bonus for me. I love it's my favorite skill of the game. You never get to roll it. I actually get to roll like, my. It's, it's that on that skill chart, like the most like useless fucking skill uh, ever. Yeah, I actually got to use um, it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a one off, and you guys are all gonna be in the circus, and handling is like, gonna be the number, number one, one skill thing you need. You want to get the elephant to move the the rocks across roll from the door? Handling. You're like, I didn't <laughs> take it. Why like, you roll animal handling? Like, I didn't take it either. Like, yeah, take, enjoy your animal my animal. my halfling cleric in my oh. Monday game got to use animal handling to inspect a donkey that was gifted to him from a by a dwarven village they saved to use. He's a care of an ear, so he's checking the gums and all that stuff like that. It was either a donkey or, a, or a, an ostrich egg sized sapphire. And I got to use animal hand and I realized that was a fine ass, and I chose the donkey. Such a fine ass. Um, rolled me a perception. From that donkey, I will build my chair. 16. Um. I'm pretty sure there's a thieves guild here, but I can't find it. <laughs> that underhand is a little low. I'm right. assuming you're doing this lower. alone. Yeah, I don't look for that by with anybody else. All right. Um, so you're out. You're throwing signs. You're waiting for people to react and try to get that in, you know, that. <laughs> uh, and this man approaches you, throws you a little thieves can sign. And says, hmm. you know, basically in thieves can't. How's the weather? But it's like you looking to join, buy or sell. Buying primarily, possibly selling. All right, follow me. Waddle waddle waddle. Okay. Whatever it looks like when Dragonborn follows. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> Dragonborn don't have tails, but we have tails. We have tails, yeah. You guys can look like whatever the hell you want. Get them all out. Yeah. Um, so, kind of takes you out through a alley into like the kitchen of a restaurant, out the other side, uh, back down somewhere else, up into a building. You cross from the building balcony to somewhere else. Um, make me an intelligence check to try to remember the path. Oh, intelligence is not my strong point. Unfortunate. Don't do that. Fun as it may be at the bar, on stream for that thing to fall and break. It would be more fun on a stream than the bar, I think, personally. Unnatural 20. Unnatural 20. Um, so you, you, you're keeping a good, um... Suddenly. You're, you're keeping a good eye on where you're going, what you're doing. Make me an insight check. Oh, just checks, checks, checks. Just check, 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 check. One, two, one, two. Insight, you said? Insight. Oh, Jesus. So we keep uh, making it roll to you feel something. 16. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he, uh, spoiler alert, he's failed two things already. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. I'm basically being robbed right now. So, like, la, la, la. Um, you being robbed yet? Here or there? He drops down from <laughs> from a, a kind of like a second you know, half story, <laughs> a split level. I'm always, oh, one the fuck is that? I'm always one of these things on Twitch stream. <laughs> yeah. So he drops down from a split level into what is pretty much a double blind alley, uh, and he kind of goes off and disappears into a wall somehow before you jump down and see where he went. <laughs> So you know there's a secret door in here, but as you jump down and look where he went, you just get this bad feeling. Yeah, I get it. And <laughs> you turn around, and there's this feeling. gnome sitting at the other end of the alley. Oh. He's in gray robes with gold. Is he the gnome I saw earlier? Yes, he is. Uh, he's got several rings on. Most of them are gold, and they have different band types and gemstones set in them. Uh, and he's sitting at the end and goes, huh. The underhand. Oh, I didn't think shit. you'd be so easy to catch. You bastard. Perhaps it was my intention to be caught. Oh. That's the boy. Uh, well, that is quite silly of you. Uh, make a... 
wisdom saving throw. Dang it. <laughs> Did he get inspiration for that line though? Like, Actually, no. Ah! <laughs> I tried. Well, now, now. 16. It's like just 16, 16, 16, 16. Barely uh, above average. 16 is a great roll. It's a good roll, but it's still not for But we're also there. level. I know we're level 8. It yeah. should be a lot higher. God, are we really level 8? Yeah, you are level are, 8. We're uh, doing. Uh, you're, you're pretty close to being. Oh, are we? You're just gonna dangle that little chair in front of our faces there. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. it's yeah. there. I mean, you beat a Dragoloth, you beat <laughs> assassins, you went through the Underdark. Fuck, we walked away from a Beholder. Actually, I think you were eight before you went into the Dwarven City. We've been eight for at least three sessions. What about that spider we beat last week? Yeah. Yeah, I think we leveled when we went into the city. <laughs> Motherfucker, I was like... <laughs> what spider? Uh, so... Damn. <laughs> Took me a second, uh, I was like, what spider? He, he kind of... even hear that <laughs> He kind of, like, waves his hand like this, and this guy is your best friend. Long lost, oh, you... God, bitch. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you... You will do... You would... Who's got the bag of holding? I you, okay. guys are not, okay. you guys are you so have the lands. far away does, from me. The bag of holding doesn't matter anymore. You have the lands. I know I have the lands, but... The bag of holding still has some good stuff. The bag of holding is disgusting. Yeah, it does have good stuff, but it doesn't have the... Uh, you're right, it doesn't have the yeah, Platinum yeah. Mansion, because this is the Platinum Mansion now. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you're this guy's best friend. So yeah, this guy is a long-lost friend. You, hey, you duh, do anything for him. bro. How you been? I'm so... The worst, bro. I'm the worst, the bro. worst, bro. The worst, bro. Don't, <laughs> don't bring my other character into this. Um, <laughs> don't make that character. It's the worst ever, bro. The worst ever, bro. The worst. Now, ever, bro. I can't say too much because uh, because I'm listening. I, I made a character. Uh, if you remember, Luke, named Luke, named Luke, Luke, Luke bro. Oh, okay. Um. I don't know if you remember who he was, but you have met him. This is uh, memorable to me. In this game? Yeah, in this game. Luke, bro. Uh, is he on uh, the, the bolt if night from this? No, he was not. Yeah. 15 yard down. Like, he was way, okay. Way, way, Repeat way, the right. down. Yeah. Uh, this what is... Emojis going on now. This is, fri- <laughs> this is friends. Is that a ravioli with no milk? Mm-hmm. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Either that or a very cheesy it's, pillow. I think it's a, I think it's a pizza, a pizza tortillas pizza roll. It's a pizza roll. Okay. Oh, there you go. Pizza it's a pizza. Roll. It's a pizza roll. That's you fucking awesome. Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she gets inspiration. Okay, so this guy's your best friend. He's like, so where are you going? We are heading back to Koromir. We have the platinum <clears throat> device we require. To defeat the evil Bahamut of my oh, savior. Oh, right, freeze. about that. The, the paladin has that, right? What, what's his name? Rofras. Do you not know of him, but only of me? Uh, I am flattered. Yes, of course. Rofras. And has the... Has it unlocked its true potential yet? Is it fully... We need yet to quench it in the blood of a dragon and consecrate it at the temple of a lord of some sort of god uh, of the peoples. A uh, scroll. Of you have of uh, it's, it's a scroll appears next to him, and a quill, and it just starts writing. This is why it's, it's just floating. It's magical. You have misspelled Rofras. Oh, Rof. How do you spell that? With an H. Ah, right here. Is that in just in Draconic, or is it in both languages like that? Uh, it translates. The language is <laughs> It is a digraph in common. He knows more. A trigraph in Draconic, but in excellent, this case, it'd just be a double. So. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you know about uh, Cormier and what's happening with with the stuff going on there? Apparently, they are beset by multiple uh, armies. The place is in turmoil. We hope to aid it, but really to finish our work with the... What is the name of the thing? I'm not telling the you. Platinum wing. The platinum, platinum wing. wing. Oh, the platinum wing. That's excellent. <laughs> Turn cut. It's with an uh, in. Uh, <laughs> it's like a spell. Check uh, spelling. A hand comes over your shoulder and grasps it lightly, but firmly. Like a light touch, but it's there. And the magic washes away from you. Whoa. You realize now that you have been beguiled, but there's a woman. Is the paper still there, invisible? Uh, it's, it's still visible. Yeah, you guys are about twenty feet apart, just talking, and the paper is just, and it's, it seems mystical and all that. But there's a woman standing next to you now. Um, she is in a 
regal gown. It is black and has it's black, blue, and silver uh, embroidered. Uh, she has a bobbed haircut and a heart shaped face. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, no, keep your what? mouth shut. <laughs> um, oh. She is quite possibly the most stunning human you've ever seen. Mm. Like, you know, you're used you drag born and all that, but even you can tell the attractiveness of this woman. I want to go and spit some acid on that. <laughs> thing. Uh, uh, and she comes around and she is like, now that's enough Q&A for one day. Can I shoot a little at that scroll? Sure. I'll let it happen. Feet. Yeah, go for it. All right. Do I have to like roll an attack? Um, yeah, since you're since you're specifically targeting something, like, it's not just a save. Let's do a attack roll. Just use your bow, um, but not with well, the magic bonus. Like corrosive vomit would be like. Whoosh. Yeah, yeah. So but the corrosive vomit is a saving throw, right? It's not it's a, a twelve dex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're since you're trying to pinpoint something. Oh, okay. it's not just a spray Call where it, it makes gotcha. a saving throw. Um, so look at like. Um, I don't know if you still have your old bow on there. I think I do still somewhere in here. Just look at attacks. No, I got rid of Okay, it. so yeah. your bow now is a, what, a plus two, plus yeah, one? I can just leave the pluses off. Just leave the pluses off. Just roll a dex plus proficiency. You guys have a, what proficiency now? Three? Plus three. Okay. So your dex, which is, I believe, five? Plus four. Yeah. Plus four? Then you don't have a 20 dex yet? 18. Okay. I've spread so four, myself five, six, seven. seven. Unfortunately. So uh, plus seven. D twenty so plus seven would be a twenty five. Uh, yeah, you hit it. No shit. Are you kidding me? That's the unheard right there. And it just like, and the magic of it breaks and it sizzles out. And he looks over, and he kind of steps back. Um, you still don't I'll feel that. I'll say no. I, yeah. I do not mind answering questions, but being forced is. Underhanded if you catch my drift. He's like, well, well, well. Someone new enters the the play, and you are? He's like, not a friend of yours or your compatriots. Oh, yeah, inspiration. For getting that hit. Not in front of you or your compatriots. Be yeah. gone. So she has nothing. She basically dispelled me. I shot that thing, and, and she's telling them to get lost. Yeah, and she and he's trying to find out who. So he already seemed to have a lot of information about about me, things sure. and knew yeah. what to ask, but he does not know who this woman is. Gotcha. And she failed you know, denies him that information and says, "Be gone." Uh, and uh, he just like, hmm. Still informative. And he mists away. A purple mist kind of comes up and takes him. Very uh, Thanos-like. Very Thanos-like. Uh, Spoilers. Uh, I'm just kidding. At this point, uh, I got the end of Endgame. No, Thanos just teleporting everywhere. Yeah. He did it in the last one. No, I know. Just... In the cloud, which was a cool effect. And it's always how I saw a misty step. That's like the, that the sense, spell. Yeah. Like you have misty step, don't you? Mm, I don't think I do yet. Um, I thought we switched it out. For no, you. it was uh, what's his head. Stranger. Yeah, it's uh, uh, yeah. Zadine has misty step for yeah. sure. I think Ein does as well. Oh, Ein Cormier does for sure. <sighs> yeah. Uh, oh, this is uh, alter self, dark vision, thunder wave, invisibility. So she turns to you, and, like strides around. Now you're in this alleyway with this regal, noble-looking woman, uh, and she says, My, my, the underhanded of the dragonborn are somewhat gullible, it seems. It is my... <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm not sorry. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It is my first time attempting to seek out the thieves of man. It seems I have done poorly in this endeavor. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, uh, here. Uh, let me... Uh, she's like, let me impart some wisdom. And she shows you several thieves' can symbols that you have never seen before. 
Oh, I can't wait to teach Sam oh, this one. This. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Rod, this is a hello. <laughs> <laughs> she says, so instead of this, I do. <laughs> You'll do both. And like, you may want to write these down that you have these. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She says, if you show these three symbols, like one of these symbols, like she says, one is you need help. Take uh, care. Oh, All have right. a good one. Hey, Thank hey, you hey, for stopping by. Thanks for promoting us. Also, by the way, that's fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, we appreciate you tabletop to keyboard. Yeah, your Discord channel is amazing. I watched the. I saw some of the schedule, and I need to. Did you go see into some it. of that? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty curious myself. Uh, uh, there's watching. one that yeah, was. We to get together for a day of watching some of that. There's, that's... there's something on the uh, upcoming that I saw that I really want to watch, and now I can't remember what it is. Let me go to the Discord real quick. Uh, event announcements. Mm, oh, maybe. I'm sure I can. I'll figure something out. Uh, voice okay. acting. I want to watch the voice acting episode four because I can come up with voices. My problem is I can't consistently fall back into them. That's a, that's a hard thing. It's just yeah. like porn actors. Like, yeah, you can get a hard on do the thing, but like, can you uh, keep it up? Really can you keep it up? This is a poor analogy. Yeah. Is it? That was pretty apt. Uh, so, one is that you need help. Need help. It says, if someone, <laughs> if you throw this symbol and the person <laughs> doesn't <laughs> recognize it or tries to fake that they know what you're saying, they're not going to help you. Mm. Only accept help from someone that knows what that symbol specifically is. Huh. Um, <clears throat> the other one is uh, information to trade. And says, this one is... It's much rarer that you'll find someone that does, but if you have big information to trade, uh, and you or you need big information, only trade with people that recognize that symbol. She also tells you that the people you met up in Icewind Dale, up in that town, <gasps> they knew that symbol. Like, oh. So she's like, that's why kind of she's here. Was she aware that we were in Icewind Dale? She is aware that okay. she was aware that you were a nice window. Holy shit, that's really good info. So there is an information network out there Unless that she's you a should. Unless you're a spy that's absolutely <laughs> lying yeah. to you right now. All right. So it's like there's an information I've network out there that is. <laughs> there's information <laughs> yeah. out there that is. It's exactly what it, you know. It's big information. It's for big information. You should bring big information or lots of gold or whatever, uh, but don't trust anything less kind of thing. It is a, a vetted information network. Um, the last one is she's like, you only get to use the last one once. Ooh. But if you need an ally, you need something done You that your skills aren't capable of in your world. Uh, Geostellar! Uh, Geo! She's like, you get to use that symbol once, and someone will help you. Shit. Oof. Does it only get to use once in all of the Sword Coast, or is this only like in this town? Or do I? Is her meaning kind of cryptic, and I don't know? Her meaning's pretty cryptic. Okay, cool. All right. But it's like if you need, if you need a thief. Did you draw draw her? I mean I had this idea. I had the at the column sound version when without but without armor. Not too bad. Yeah. It's got the robes. It's I like the, the big uh I was to see how cutting drunk out. again. Huh? Who says anyone's drunk? What? It's not drunk. Then you're all drunk again. So yeah, me too! Wait, it's who's drunk? It's just Robert. We're not sponsored by Heineken, but we're available. We're sure it's good, good. Oh. <laughs> Sponsorship opportunity here, Heineken. Be the beer of D&D. &D. Beers on the table is not mean we're drunk. Let me we're drinking. All right. This so, be a beer of D&D. Well, this group usually means we're drunk. The beer of D&D. &D. Judges and Dragons. It's remarkable. <laughs> Wizards of the Coast? You listening? Um, so she is... Actually, Will Wheaton Heineken. already did it. With a C. Mm -hmm. Will Wheaton had a stream where he... Homebrewed beer specifically for oh, the sessions. Well, that, for his that's bullshit, though. That's not a that's not a brand. That's just him. Yeah. So, 
Also, who's Will Wheaton? Anyway? Also, Will Wheaton, if you're watching. I know. Uh, I'm just kidding. Will hey, we love you. Please, <laughs> please sponsor us. Hey, Geeks For the love of God, Will Wheaton. Please sponsor us. Hey, Geeks, Geeks, Geeks and Sundry, Critical Role. Yeah, anyone, right. anyone, take Everyone. notice of us. Who we're you want we're okay. You know what? I had a friend make honeymead once. It was delicious. It's probably one of the neatest drunks I've ever been. We were happy. We were having a great time. And then I had one of the worst hangovers it that I've ever had in my super life. Super sugary. Life. Sugary I things are deadly. I couldn't believe it. I know. I couldn't believe how bad it was considering how good we had felt the night before. Okay, so I have taken what I'm going to take from her. If she's still hanging around, she's like, oh, let's, let's talk or something. Uh, she's like, <clears throat> no, she's still there. Uh, but you realize that you're not in the alley anymore. Uh, yes, you, it's Wesley Crusher. You are in uh, a marketplace, which is somewhere underground. Like, you look up, and you're just in a little side area, and she says, I believe this is what you were looking for. In, f in fact, it is. Uh, Do a name one more time. So, like, like, in fact it is. You're named one more time, and when uh, you look back, she's gone. gone. These stupid thieves. <sighs> being, you guys don't understand how, how tough it is being underhanded. Because <laughs> I'm not a thief. Like, I'm just your... No, I know. You're playing uh, a very complicated uh, role, and I applaud you for it. You're doing yes. great. Yes, and, yeah. and sugars have a problem with, like, it's the like dehydration is as well. They they really attribute to it. Like the same thing with because like wines they take and water to digest. Yeah. So not only do you not have water in your uh, your system, and you've taken alcohol, which is dehydrating you. Now you're requiring water from your system to break down your sugars that you brought in, thus further dehydrating. You. So terrible. It's a thankless rule too, because as I mean, like, there's so many thievy things you could do to your benefit here that you you choose not to do because you are still an honorable gold athlete. The only thing that I've done that's really kind of questionable for Xernax is keep books on your fights while we were on the Baltic Niter. Oh, but, but you told oh, me yeah. about it. Because the whole like, time I was yeah. there, yeah, I was I was keeping track of wins and losses, and I had books going. So I just I, saw that as a record-keeping of my glory. I mean, <laughs> for me, it was more monetary <laughs> gain. Yeah. That's a... It was recreation. <laughs> so okay. you are in some... It was recreation for me, too. I'm watching you fights great, but also, like... Making money yeah. on the side was That's kind of fine. interesting. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, you are in some underworld market, some black market in Neverwinter now. So I guess. Uh, do you guys want to do anything before I get going into the market? Hey, uh, like you, oh, you, you guys, no, you're, you're not there. I mean, I'm just saying, I, I just don't like, want to take the spotlight so much with him. No, you guys no, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to just keep going down the path looking yeah. for stuff and asking questions yeah. and stuff like that. I've been waiting. I've been waiting three games. Three games to introduce that character to you. <laughs> and I almost fucked it up. Um, so I want to look for potions first because that night vision potion is pretty dope. Okay. Uh, there, there's poison that. shops, there's magic shops, there's thieves' picks and tools and, and weird trap shops and setting up trap shops and breaking and entering shops. There's drugs. Up and down, there's everything here. So you find a nice little alchemist potion maker area. Uh, he's got all kinds of stuff. He's got. Is there? So I, I don't. Again, this is an, an unfamiliarity with D and D question here, which is they have thieves' tools. Are there like levels of thieves' tools? Are there like uh, there? Like I don't because I know there's like jewelers' tools and thieves' tools, and then there's yeah. like so there's yeah, like well, arsonist the tools, part, and tools, like are tools are tools are tools. You could upgrade to a better set. But it's not going to impact gameplay. It's just going to be flavor that you got a really good set mm -hmm. versus the set you've always had. What about type of magic? Thing. But there are it. yeah. Yes, there are out there enchanted thieves tools. There's like thieves tools that are designed for arcane tricksters to use with their mage hands mm -hmm. specifically. There's all kinds of stuff with okay. that. Um, so, so night vision potions first. So night vision potion, dark vision potions will set you back uh, here. With the thieves, can't you know this and that? Uh, we'll say see, it's not it's not fucking cheap. Let's hundred gold each. So I'll take two. Okay. Now, healing potions, like regular healing potions are 50, and then they go up by increments. 50, 100, 200, and I think 400. Oh. Goggles of night. That, that oh. is true. 
Yeah. Uh, goggles of Night are a magic item that you can buy, which just you put Wait, on so and they that, have... Is, that, is there some of these laying around somewhere? <clears throat> That'll set you back a thousand. I don't have that much money. So does we'll the entire the... group have that much? No, and even if it does, I'm, I've done pretty good. Do you have things to trade? <sighs> not, not like that. And actually, no. I think I actually know. You know what? I you don't. sold. You traded yeah, for the I information did. back yep, in. I did. I've given up just about everything. That's fine. So the, okay. So that's fine. So the potions for now. And that, this is that's kind of player info there too. This character no. actually knows shit about that. Yeah, but um, you would like. There's other people there talking gotcha, and like, gotcha. oh, you should get goggles of like another merchant. You should buy my goggles of night. I would also like yeah. to. My game, my, my game is uh, so my game is not in this world for my Forgotten Realms. It is not super high magic. It's not like magic items aren't super common, and I do keep the prices kind of out there because <laughs> I specifically give them items and they get yeah, them on their adventures. Stuff. Uh, hey. I mean, there's two artifacts mm. in the party already. Please, um, no, I, I we but love we, this and I actually have a we do, yeah. but no, no, yeah. please. Do interact with us. Do tell yeah. us that like I can't keep track of everything all the time. Sure. So having a hive mind to give information and share is always preferable. Uh, my, my yeah, and I don't know if you've been. I don't know how long you've been watching GSL, but like you know, we 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 do we do sometimes involve uh, NPC inter- I mean uh, uh, viewer interactions yeah. in the in uh, the game itself. For the, right the suggestion, uh, inspiration, Geo Stellar. So you have inspiration now, which means you can gift inspiration to any player at any time, or oh. any NPC or villain at any time. So, which has happened once before, hasn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Somebody gave in fucking. Yeah. Oh yeah, someone gave one of my characters inspiration. <laughs> one of the villains. Um, I'm gonna say Wes did it. I think, I think he West did. did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, last okay. I guess would be just personally. My piton is coming handy quite a bit. Is there anything here that can help me climb better? And uh, there's an entire climber's up? kit. Mm, a climber's kit? How much is a climber's kit? <laughs> less of dark vision goggles. Oh, yeah. That cheap as hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's, those are mundane tools, so. This is one of those things where, like, like so your next is like, I found the thieves shop. What do you want? I don't know. I've never been to a thieves <laughs> shop. <laughs> uh, the, I mean, the potion, yeah. the, the seeing in the dark. Yeah. They're like, okay. Is it, it, is, it plays like these as best as you can imagine. Like, 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 do, you, do you have something that would help me with this it's a kind of thing? Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying. Like, I, you know, yeah. climbing has come oh, into handy, like come in handy quite a bit. And then I got one more request when we're done. Uh, Twenty-five gold. What? Yeah. So the climber's kit is. How do I? Add. So. Oh, so there's manage equipment. Manage equipment. There we go. Add. Whoa, add items. Add items. So just put C L I M B and. Climbers kit includes special special climbers pitons, kit. boot tips, gloves, and a harness. You can use the climbers kit as an action Can't to anchor fall more yourself. Twenty five feet. Yep. Can't climb more twenty five feet. Not that dude. Perfect. Yeah, this is that's shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's better than rope and. Well, I mean, the pizza has been the, great the until we lost them. Yeah. I'm loves of swimming and climbing. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to look at this later. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we'll see later. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of stuff, kit, but a lot of stuff doesn't have cost because they're magic <laughs> items. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, if you could buy a monk with a black marker, that'd be even right. better. Right. Yeah. I have a monk. I just <laughs> jump on its back. <laughs> it takes me up and down. A little tiny Yoda <laughs> monk. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, it's a gnome. Um, it's a gnome yeah, monk. Go, yeah, and a monk. Yeah. Go get it. The last would be that I... I'm I'm still pretty vulnerable, and all I have is this. <laughs> Ninth level, um, too. Yeah. That'd be sweet. I have leather armor that I'm not fucking wearing again. Uh-huh. Um, You're not yeah, wearing your armor. I keep taking it off for situational stuff like Sexy climbing and swimming and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and I never put it back on, um, which raises my armor class. Is there anything around here armor-wise that looks like something I could benefit from? There is absolutely stuff you could benefit from. Several things. Uh, so there is magical leather, magical studded leather, bracers of defense, and rings of protection. Well, I have I, I have f- gloves on, so I, can, I can't wear the bracers at the same time. No, the yeah, bracers are. Uh, I get the, arms where they are. They're yeah. like, okay, so I can still put bracers mm-hmm. on. So what do the bracers of protection look like? What is that? Bracers of defense. Um, so how much money do you have? Just let me know what I you're. Have, I have at. about 
three hundred bucks to yeah. spend. You're not getting any kind any, of any okay, of cool. that, uh, except for for um, Holy Quest is a poor man's business. For one, <laughs> yeah, for one fifty, you can get uh, leather plus one, like enchanted leather. That so would be my, my that would be your armor. Whoa, whoa, that's Plus one would that's raise fantastic. my armor class from fifteen to sixteen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's. So, one so, more point of AC. so look, so go add items. This is coolish. Right. By the way. Uh, leather. That is neat. You just start typing in leather and look before. for the. It's going to be green, <laughs> I think. Leather plus one. Mm -hmm. so load more. Leather plus one. Light armor leather. Yep. Add. There you go. All right, so let's put that on real quick. Sorry. Other plus one. <gasps> yeah, Ooh. that would be cool. He does actually already have uh, gloves of missile snaring, which he's used. He's forgotten about a lot, but he's used to great effect sometimes. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, it's always like when the, the best dwarf when, use when it. the dwarf yes. tried to shoot the orc. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Nope. All right, so. Oh, so good. Yep, All right, well, levels then, of business. I, then I think I've done what I need to do here, so I'll make my way back to these guys. Okay. Yeah, say it really so broke my heart when you just flat out told us, like, you'll never see that work again. And it was like, oh. What? Well, dude, that's like every time I've lost a buddy. Like, I know. You're I know. training a thief. Where is he? Oh, he's fucking gone. Like, yeah, like, I, you had a choice. <laughs> like, no, no, that's totally, yeah, back that's totally world, fine. The world is full of crazy fates uh, and mysteries. No, it's absolutely completely fine. It's, it's maybe, well, it's like maybe, you'll happens, like, oh. maybe you'll meet these people. Maybe you'll meet Cackle again. I don't I will stab Cackle. If what? <laughs> she just I know, was a coward. I, it was you taught her well. It was the best. I know. I'm like, I hate you so much. I you have to be mine. I love the fact <laughs> that she was able to dupe you. I was so pissed about that. <laughs> like, I was so I'm excited. Like, yeah. Trade me, mind. please. Come I'm stealing but, you. But she really, really would probably have preferred to go with you than to stay as a minion of that beholder. That's too yeah. bad. By the way, glad you didn't lose your skill the second time you were charmed and Hush. beholden with somebody's <laughs> like, <laughs> Did you watch the entire basically beholders? Yes. And it's like, if, if you go up against a beholder and your GM lets you kill they it... Are. Then they, you they, didn't go up against the beholder. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they did it wrong <laughs> because they, did, they are impossible. Oh, uh, they're so bad, and they really are. I don't know. I have, you know, I never really looked at them in fifth edition, oh, but uh, they're, they're just terrible. They've always anti they magic always cone. Happen. Anti magic cone. Yeah. No, if it's looking at you, if you're in its well, front they, gaze. Yeah, but the other gazes have. All they all have the best right? 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 But first off, yeah, if this is right. if this is on you, you cannot cast spells, and none of your magic items work. These are going. All those eyes are going every, every round. Turn. Uh, no, only three. Geo only three uh, shoot a turn. Geostellar has a question. Yes. What's? Oh, what, why am I not in the right thing? Also, when I was when um, I was, what about using? Man, his works really fast. When I was when I what was about using a flash? When I was <laughs> gotta be older. Whoa! When I was using uh, when I was using this to chat, as long as it's not magical. When I was using this to chat with you guys last Wednesday, my delay was ridiculous. So ridiculous. I think it is thirty seconds. And Mine was way longer. It felt like maybe I don't know because his was like question. There it is. Mine was like, haha, guys, that's funny. And then you guys would like talk for a few minutes, and they would like pop up. I would actually see it show up at the bottom of the screen way after uh, I said it. So. Yeah. Maybe well, it's maybe it was just where I was. I was like, very engaged in GM, and people weren't looking at the chat. Well, no, no, that's that's very <laughs> true. <laughs> God damn it! Here, uh, I'll just want to just send one. All right. Oh, uh, so you you head back out. Uh, you find that you are in a. It's the worst. You're in a basically a tunnel, which was a sluice tunnel for the waterways. Uh, but the water has lowered, so these tunnels are just dry and, and unused. Uh, and you pop back out fairly near that, uh, the, was it the grounded Leviathan or whatever it's called? The inn you stayed in, the oh pirate ship in. Yeah. The beach Leviathan. The beach Leviathan. Um, yeah, and you that can, was it. And you can head back to, uh, to Protector's Enclave. Yeah, that popped up like instantly. It came out of my phone. Hey, hey, blow it hey, up your butt! Up your butt. Hey, <laughs> uh, you have inspiration. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> 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 
It gives them the enemies anyway. <laughs> yeah, it does. Well, it you can you can actually claim one way or another which how its eyes are because I do believe that a beholder has true sight, and if it has true sight, then flashbangs wouldn't affect it at all. Mm. No, it would see through. It would see through yeah. it. it the light, light, darkness, all true that size, stuff. Is it, does, does it have two sides? I don't know. I, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. But, but if, it does, if it does, then it would. Then so it's, it ignores all effects that affect sight, essentially, like invisibility, baffling, all that stuff. It's you know, the holders can affect psionics. But what? Did, so what's the point of having a creature like this? Is it just something to throw against characters for the fun of it? Uh, or to so murder, there's or? a couple of reasons. One is to have this crazy powerful thing that is the center of a plot line, and you deal with them like they're they're evil, kind of just because they're selfish and scared. They're they're paranoid, so they think everything is out to get them. So they'll attack first. But you can talk to them like you guys did, like. That thing wants. That thing has a goal. Yeah. The other thing is, if you're gonna play on a map and you're gonna play roll R O L L playing. Oh, so it'd be more like it's moving very tactically. Yeah. How do we actually kill a beholder? And yeah. you know, you send people that are 12th, 14th, 15th level after this thing, and it has minions, and it becomes a tactics battle mm. of hey, its eye can only yeah. affect what's in front of it, so we have to do movement to get around it. So all miniature jazz. beholders as well. Oh, well, there's all there's so many oh, there's different so many, variations. There's so many yeah, dumb ones. Um, specters are there. So you can I'm just curious because we because we've talked so, about beholders quite a bit, and, and, I've and you've met one. One thing that video didn't mention though was that uh, one thing that's really cool about beholders is that it is like it is like the one. In... Anyway, uh, so they they change reality <laughs> by their thoughts. <laughs> um, oh, that was you, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Um, it's because it's because he is inspiration. Uh, inspiration. Hey, come on. <laughs> yes. That's uh, okay. We don't judge choices. Um, man. The only so, one here that's married, by the way. So, so <laughs> beholders have no beard. reproductive system for now. Yeah. When they're so we'll paranoid like of the world that they try to go to sleep okay. for as much as possible of it. And in their sleep, if they dream of another beholder coming to kill them, another beholder appears and tries to kill them. Yeah. That's Which how is, they procreate. It just almost looks silent and power. Oh, sense. yeah. It's pretty crazy. It's yeah, yeah. If one dreams about dying, it becomes an undead beholder. Confirm <laughs> KK. KK. Motherfucker. Can yes. confirm. Uh, welcome yeah, back from Arkansas, so. by the way. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So you make your way back to Pixar well. and Clay, the, the manor of Never Ember. If there is nothing else to, to go on, if there's nothing else that you guys want to do, yeah, he, he does then, a, he does a then uh, let's... I do, I do want to say, um, I would like to... Uh, so, you mean, we've talked a lot about you being the honor hand, and, like, R real fast is just kind of like, you know, he's, he's honorable, like, you know, the clan gives me whatever I, I need. Um, like, like, I would like to, like, can I, is there some way I can assume that, like, my gold, like, he can have, be in possession of my gold and all that I stuff? I mean, you're a soldier. If that's the way you want to do it, then... Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I won't accept it. No, but if he's, like... Like really, please handle I don't, my I don't gold. Do, I don't do this commerce. I don't do this trade shit. Like you, that's what your job is. Anyway, I mean, you can go me. out and purchase a bag of mini hands. You gotta make it. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta make it. A pouch of mini hands. What is a pouch of mini hands? Oh, we can. The we can shared trade. space. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, like you well, know. Give me your money. What do yeah. you got there? I got. I got, uh, I got a. Two hundred gold. That's all you have. That's it. And 150 silver. All right, I'll take your 200 gold. Take take it off your. Don't worry about the 201. Just keep the one for yourself. Yeah, so I said 200 gold and 100 silver. 200 and then 100 silver. Yeah. All right. Uh, so if that's it, then you guys off. are yeah. brought to uh, Inner Sanctum inside the manor. It's unexpected. Where a wizard is awaiting you. One of Never Ember's. Council. Ferda. Ferda. That's so weird. Uh, I'm yeah. gonna take a gay trucker while you type this shit into the chat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, 
you guys, like, it, he performs this ritual. The magic circle that's engraved on the ground glows. Uh, Ayasa steps forward and marks in these blank uh, tiles around the circle the marks of Tolan's magic circle, which then flash up, and all you have to do is step in the light, and... Where exactly will this light take us? Hopefully you are now here. sitting... <laughs> no! <laughs> You're now standing on a balcony of a tower in a land... Far off, a pastoral green land. You see a river, all this stuff. But you're up in a tower, like on a balcony of a tower. The magic circle is inscribed. It's outside. Oh, There's a, a massive game. door. Uh, shit, you're dead. Like, yeah, it just went... <laughs> I, I screwed up the road! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Space. <laughs> Bahamut, is that you? It's me. Uh, but you're, you're on a balcony outside. There's a door there that's like... You know, shut. There, the circle's out there. It's a fairly l- large balcony on top of this tower. It's, you know, almost at the top of the tower. Uh, there's this vase, Voss. I don't know. It looks pretty expensive, so I think it's a Voss. Uh, with these long, like, peacock feathers, and it's, like, sitting next to the the door. Not sure, peacock feathers. Uh, Smash it. See, long. there's rupees in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a... Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. You do an incomplete roll and bounce off the wall. Um, <laughs> but that's where you are. You're you're you don't really recognize the tower because you went in through the bottom before and only saw the first chamber. So, but you're on the balcony outside. It is midday as it was when you left. A little bit, a little bit later because of the distance. Uh, east there's that you have traveled. There's time zones in D and D. There is time there zones are, in D yeah, and D. So, uh, and you, uh, <laughs> the air is crisp and cool. There is a light dusting of snow across the the countryside, oh. and it's still winter. I mean, oh. so here's light dusting of snow. I'll show you a light dusting of snow. That's not how the well, inspiration works. So it gives you advantage. <laughs> yeah, good thought, though. Um, yeah, so, um, soldier, uh, I know where we are. I know why we're here. I'm going to go right to the edge of this balcony and survey. Okay. Like, okay. yeah. What are we looking at here? You're looking out across the town. It's much like you remember. You see the small clusters of buildings, um, some outlying farms, the yeah, river yes. running through it. You even see... That's not what a pun is, but... <laughs> uh, you even see Maybe the three stories. The three stories in where you stayed last time, sitting on the river. It's not on fire. Nope. People Are people just conversing and... Uh, you see some people moving about the land, yeah. And this, does he see... the Do you, does this call him here? Yeah, that's where yeah, he's... So this is three stories in right there. Just making sure, because I... No, it's yeah. not a stupid like, question. No, 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 like, me. I understand. I don't trust this shit either, but it seems it appears to be so. Hell, I ended up in a fucking shop I didn't go to earlier today. Yeah, you so were I don't know what the time. fuck's going on. I'm like, well, 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 what's even happening? I thought you took a nap. Bass. <laughs> <laughs> Vass. It's a vass. Dumb, pretentious <laughs> accent. Boss. <laughs> like, what was it? Were you, did you send that comic? Is it vase or Voss? Oh, is it, it expensive? It, yeah. It was it expensive? Oh, if it's expensive. It's a vase or Voss. I don't know if I did that, but it, I think but we, the, we've talked about this a couple of times. The punchline was something out of left field. I don't remember. It must not have been me. Oh, no. Uh, it's... Uh, I'm sorry I, I broke it. I don't know if it was a vase or a box. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's like an urn. Yeah. It's like, no, no, that one specifically is called an urn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when it holds my grandfather's ashes. That, 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 that one was me, yeah. So, uh, yeah. There you are. There's a door. There's a boss. Peacock feathers. Uh, and a balcony with a magic circle. Because we arrived and the place is not on fire. We made it in time. Just for Geo, Geo Stellar. I'll, Yasa. I'll search the vase. Yasa. Yasa. Where's there's nothing else in it? Nothing else in it. Just peacock oh. feathers. Sorry, that Geo Stellar. Uh, possibly in his tower. Can you summon him? You call him. Do you have a secret knock? <sighs> right. Nope. Great. She walks up to the door. 
He reaches over the handle, pulls it, goes dunk, and then out of the wood, a mouth forms. I uh, see it. That's exactly what I was talking about. Yes, yeah, so. and says, "Tell him a knock knock joke." <sighs> Oh, no. Not funny! I would have said It almost killed us. Welcome! Like welcome, welcome. If you're hearing this right now, you're either a bird that has bumped against this door, or you are folks that have no, that know Tolan's magic or teleportation circle runes. Unfortunately, Tolan is not home right now. So you'll have to grab a feather and jump off the side of the balcony. Oh, damn it. Geostar was right the whole time. All right. Take a, I'll take a yeah. fucking feather. Welcome to the movie town. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know if I you're a fall. bird, then piss <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> this is very feeble. He's, uh, Tolan is very uh, tired of cleaning up your messes. I'm also very tired of talking to myself. <laughs> and the mouth goes away. I guess Toland is still off on whatever it is, is whatever business he is attending to. What's below this balcony if I feather fall? That the way? It's, <sighs> that's ridiculous. Uh, so, what's below the balcony? There's the courtyard at the base of the tower. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, I'll go first. I like falling. Grab a feather? Yeah. You... Jump off the side and <laughs> you float down. Oh, well, that happened. Yep. He also well, grabs a feather, well, jumps off the happened. side. I'll do the same, I suppose. Can we just break the door down and then just make it right? Woo! Savra. Grab a feather and jump. Yeah. All right. So you all jump to the bottom once you touch. Like everyone's the, done it. <laughs> once you touch the bottom, you still gotta say you do it. Uh, once you hit the bottom, uh, break down the door. A very powerful wizard who likely has a very potent magical traps. Really? She Maybe just summoned a bird. Yeah. My mage hand should have done it. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, so you, when you worse. when you hit the ground, the feather, like the stalk of the feather, disappears, and all the little strands of the feathers just blow off in the wind and disappear. Hmm. <laughs> right. How are we going to find Toll? He's part of the purple dragon, not the bad purple dragon, but the good one. Well, he's off dealing with his chalice and whatever. We need to find someone else who has information here that we know. <gasps> We should find a... <laughs> there's commoners everywhere. Yeah? We should find a... We should far. find a... <laughs> they, what do they, they have? What are, what, are, what, are, what are people who worship gods call these places? Uh, temples? Churches? We should find a... Think of that... Of Helm. That would lead us to Tolan. There is a... Church of Helm in... Braden Downs. Well, we should go to that then. But you're still not going to find Tolan there. But we can find his champion... Who is consecrated as a chosen? But they might know with Tolan. Well, they might know where she is or have some sort of godly connection. I don't know how deities work. We're new to this. We're not here to find that. We're here to help Cormier. Well, they would be the people who would know how to help. I thought that was my strategy. True. They so helped us this far. Shit! Look at this. Off to the Temple of Helm. Yeah. That's my suggestion anyway, my my prince, my, my beloved <laughs> the response lord. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, excellent is wisdom. Well, well, at this point, we haven't, like, we don't see any of the uh, <laughs> Amethyst <laughs> is the neutral dragon. <laughs> He's the, not only a paladin who derives his power from a god. The gemstone dragons are the neutral <laughs> the It's neutral true, though. It's true, right? I'm Actually, not that kind of paladin. I was going to say, also, he's been very clear since the very first one that he's not super sure how he feels about Bahamut. He's really mm-hmm. taking his power from it, but following Savrod. Yeah. He believes in the power of Bahamut because he was saved by the power of Bahamut. Yeah, yeah, and understand yeah. that they don't... Like, we're dragon... We're Faerudian dragon. We don't Like, worship. Dragonborn don't worship. Yeah, they venerate worship. or they... Respect they they, they they champion yeah so they don't worship they don't submit to a god they try to to live by example uh, by the example set by these uh, and 
and being bestowed abilities means Ew. that what we're doing is right. And it's kind of silly, but that's just how Dragonborn oh, it is. It is weird. We're, we're playing, like he said earlier with me, like these are some weirdly complicated characters that we, this, have, to, we have to fight against a little bit. Like you guys asked for an epic game, and you, you delivered on your characters. These are wonderfully complex, nuanced characters with their clan, their position, uh, everything that's going on. A weird... Various codes of honor. Yeah. And so our, good stuff. Our relationship with each other. Like, we, yeah. we all venerate Savroth, but don't necessarily do what he says. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I don't. You do. <laughs> you guys both pitch ideas and yeah. then go with what he chooses. Uh, so. It is a fun, it is funny, though. Yeah. It, this is the weirdest paladin I've ever played. You guys head down to the Church of Helm, which is standing upon... The highest hill in Braden Downs. Uh, it's got a bell tower. Um, and several kind of like lookout posts. Like, you know, it has... Besides the bell tower, it has there two other towers that are lookout towers. Uh, it has a wall. Um, it's it's kind of a little bit of a fortress because it's a, it's a temple of home. That's mm. what they are. Uh, so you stride up there. And at the gate, there is a guard on vigil. As there would of course be. there would be. As there would be. Yeah. Uh, Savros, do you want to speak? Do you want to do the the the, the, the do you want to do the diplomatic speaking? Oh, or do you want me to do ooh, my that's thing? Cool. I love black dragons. I love black dragons, and I also love white dragons because they're so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> white but, dragons are dumb. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're they're almost, almost animal. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but they're cunning. They're hunters. They're really they hold good. a they're grudge. Very clever hunters. Oh, they never forget someone who bested them or took something that they yeah. wanted. Uh, but so black, dragons, black dragons, I enjoy because they're so sinister. Yeah, like they really all bad. have like the dragons are my fucking favorite the, thing. Like the swamp sinister yeah. aspect of them. I like blue dragons because they're wizards. Apparent, like basically, they're just yeah. like super magical. I read some, so many cool stories about blue dragons. What are you laughing at, Prince? <laughs> Real frost has an idea. Hey! Uh, I have a good idea this time, right. first of all. Oh, so, it was you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you you beseech that. my honor every day. I have been the most loyal motherfucker to your quiet ass. And every turn... I like that every you time somebody... my honor. Every time somebody posts something, you're like, Yes, a damn it, that's you. <laughs> so, anyway, there's a guard. It's funny because from anonymous sources. Uh, he steps forward and says... <laughs> Uh, hail, champions of Bahumat. Look at Savroth. I mean, you guys are displaying. Do you want to handle this? Symbols and all Do you want to handle this? Because I'm a fucking idiot, my lord. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Calm down. Go ahead. Come on. Rufras's ideas are cool. Yeah. It's I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. I'm no, just gra grab the reins and fucking take it. You are everyone. That's, yeah. You are everyone that's watching's favorite. Personality on this you, on this stream. Bottom of damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Watchman. Okay. All right. You are you're a hell mind. You you your watch is your watch. Is what is the state of the city? Are we at war? Braden Downs is not at threat, but our country is at war. Ah. Uh, then we need to seek the champion, the protector of Torland the Diviner. Uh, Tolan is the Seeker's champion. Adra, yeah. master of this temple. Adra's the master. Correct. We need to seek her counsel, or if she's if she's impossible to reach, then her second in command. I will... Like, and uh, if that person is not reachable. Then her third in command. <laughs> the third. I, I will take you to the Art Vigilant immediately. She sounds like a cool dude. Uh, uh, <laughs> she sounds like a cool dude. She's the coolest dude yeah, ever. Yeah, does Geo Stellar still have inspiration? He, was, he does. She she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he pulls out a, a bell and rings it, and another, like, the, the doors of the temple open. Another guard comes out, opens the gates, and he says, follow me, and passes the bell to the other guard who then takes up his watch as he guides you into the temple. Cool, I say. And so, in the temple, uh, uh, you go in, he passes a bell that's inset in the wall, and rings it 
in a like a manner, like uh, three uh, short rings, uh, one long, mm-hmm. and then stops it, and then three more short rings, Very cool. and then he heads to the up to the pulpit essentially, uh, <laughs> and says the arch vigilant will be here shortly, and he stands to the side and kind of takes up a, a watch uh. as your escort, as your guardian in the temple. Uh, do you know? Do you know? Do you know what forces march against the city? This city has been fortunate to be spared much of the disarray that has hit our country, but we are beset at all sides. The heart of the country has bandits and mercenaries harrying travelers and merchants. Most of the Purple Dragon Knights are stationed just to protect our inner communities and the capital. Mm. At the east... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, at the east, from the swamps, a garbl- goblin horde has invaded with all manner of goblinoid races. They have already sacked several of our farming communities and outlying villages there. Uh, to the west, darkness has set. There is supposedly a plague and an undead curse that has been brought from Fae. On the ocean, pirates harry all of our ports and attack our trade vessels. Do they not, when you say pirates, do they not, do they not bear flags of nationality? Uh, Am I also right in assuming the Purple Dragon Knights are the ones that worship Tiamat? New Purple no. Dragon Knights, so it's, for whatever it's, reason, it's, yeah, it's, it's very, weird. It's so, a, I, no, it is weird. So, the wearers of purple or the dragon cult are synonymous. So the dragon cult that worships worships Tiamat are called the wearers of purple. Oh, so now I, I got you. Completely unrelated to them, yeah. for whatever reason, the, the one of the knights. first kings of Cormier was called the purple dragon, and purple being a royal color. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the the knighthood of Cormier is called the purple dragon knights. Zirnet just to make all of this. And they're often in conflict, so or it gets a little confusing. Yeah, and they yeah. hate like the, the purple dragon a knights. Big... Hate. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know, right? I was confused as well. 32 seconds. So, yes. <laughs> so when I say purple dragon, I'm talking about a Cormirian yeah. knight. Uh, yeah. No, I got you, I got you. Uh, or soldier. When I talk about the wearers of purple or the dragon cult, I'm talking about a Tiamat worship. Gotcha, okay. Uh, so yeah, that's a good thing to, to clue. Two gin bottles! Hey, two gins! <laughs> two gin! No, I didn't bring <laughs> from. You need to change your name to two gin bottles. That would be even better. Oh, two gin? Yeah, yeah, two yeah. gin bottles. No, I uh, unfortunately just, just trip had very, very little time for souvenir purchase. I apologize. I, I brought back literally nothing. Mm. Um, so next, what was the what was the ship we took? The yellow yellow knife? N- no, 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 that was bolt, his ship. Mine was the yellow knife. We did the, uh, the knife second the wind. Were, the second wind was the one that we took. Yeah. What was um, the state of the second wind, if you know the docks? Hold on, hold on. You, you asked him a question, he still has an answer. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the, the pirates that are harrying the ports are the Red King Raiders. Okay, I'm definitely writing that shit down. <laughs> Have you encountered them in Xenonax? Uh, wow. Well, hmm. Good Have question. Who? The Red King Raiders. Um, oh, I mean... Roll me a... Uh, unless you want to just... You no, can let's, take let's agency if you no, want. Let's find out. Uh, but roll a die. Let's say you have any die. It doesn't matter. Uh, you have a... We'll figure out the 25% chance of you having encountered these people. So, one through four on a d12. No, sorry, one through three. I got a two, so I have never seen. No, you have. I have. Yeah. Oh, one through four. Yeah, one through three. So yeah, you have encountered the Red King Raiders. Uh, They, uh, their symbol is a red king crab. Um, emblazoned like you know, like pincers up, Mm -hmm. legs out. Uh, They are led by a man named Big Bristol Bradshaw. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're they are known for disappearing like 
they cannot be found. They're the best harriers in the business as they can swoop in, attack, and even if they fail in the attack, they can retreat so effectively and disappear that no one can retaliate against them. So I skinny that, that these guys are formidable. They sound like cowards. Dangerous ones. Mm-hmm. Effective attacks on the... The Red King Raiders, led by Big Bristol Bradshaw. Yeah, yeah. Billy Blue Jeans. An idea for beating them first week. Yeah. A giant pot <laughs> filled with water. Then we heat the uh, middle until it's boiling. Then we need. Oh, yes, the key crack! <laughs> Can we give him a second inspiration? That's fucking that would, been, that would have been the third one. He's going to spend uh, it at some point. Okay. Also, uh, you know, you can always ask. You could use your inspiration for other things. Like, you could have just said, yes, he knows, or no, he doesn't. Yeah, give him uh, power. Give him power. Take agency sometimes. And if it, you know, if he wants to roll, then he wants to roll. But crowd power is fun as well. Uh, so, yeah, you, you have absolutely... At least heard stories about these people out at sea. Love that you make us laugh. Take our little break. It's oh, right absolutely. Like hour, Sorry, yeah. Uh, uh, we'll uh, be we'll be right back. A little break. Uh, Everyone. Um, yeah. We're here. We're meeting some people. But it's halfway. Why don't you just take five? Smoke them if you got them. Break uh, message. Oh, this is Geo-Seller, guys. Holy shit. Uh, Geo-Seller is fantastic. I we stay on while it's there. Like, yeah. Like, where, oh, where, damn it, Wiley. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, turn on the hall light. I think that's the problem. Not that one. Turn that back off. Not that one. Yeah, uh, on that side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that one? Yeah. There. Uh, so, Geo-Seller, where are you from? Like, is it super late over there? Because, uh, when... Mitch was back in Arkansas. Uh, he Arkansas. I love Arkansas. I love saying Arkansas. It's Kansas and Arkansas. Um, yeah, and as you should. Uh, foreshadowing. Um, good stuff. But where are you from? Because uh, is it super late? It's around 11 right now? 11. Hey, it's, what? Well, it's are 11. Are you, time zone? Oh, are you, are you with us? California this time of year? It's California this time of year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So California or Arizona. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, you know, or, or West again, Coast. Or yeah, Oregon. Or, yeah, yeah. You're West Coast. Yeah. Good. I mean, we start super late, and for, like, we had poor Wes... With his new job that he has to get up super early Is that for. What, I swear, I swear I haven't seen yeah. him. Because he, like, this thing starts 11, yeah. uh, like, we start at 11 or 12 for him. I can't remember if he's fully East Coast or not. Oh, shit. You're... Whoa, are you, Tucson. Are you in Tucson with us? Because we're in Tucson. Come on down. What the fuck? What? Do we Holy know you? Shit. <laughs> Have we are met are you, you before? A stalker? What's happening right now? <laughs> hey, what are you, what are you doing tonight? You want to go meet a thirsty Let's huh? yeah, hang out. <laughs> if you ever want to hang out, we meet at Thirsty's before yeah, yeah. we come to play this game. What the? F are you kidding me? Of all the fucking. Yeah, and Hold we're, on. I want to know how did how did you find this? How did you find us that you were just happened to be in Tucson? Yeah, now it makes me like worry that yeah you're a personal friend that I just didn't remember their <laughs> which, you know, like shit. Yeah, man, I, we drink all the time. You bass, you don't remember, but I told you that. <laughs> Is it uh? Are you kidding? Did you just like stumble across us? He, he just, just happened to be in a, town. A guy in Tucson just happened to stumble across <laughs> our stream. That's amazing. Two stellars in Tucson. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? That's amazing. I mean, the timing's right. I mean, if you're looking, <laughs> if you're looking for a watch, stream, right? Uh, Jesus. That's pretty gnarly. You might have to come see us at Thursday. Right, or like you come hang. Out. You can That's be a guest like. star. You can. Yeah, like, yeah. There, there's a chair this? at the other end of this this table. That you can sit in. Uh, it's a stool, actually, but... Well, uh, also, it's a uh, stool shit. 
The driving range of the University of Arizona. It's around level of maybe finish class. What the fuck? Uh, no, we're, uh, we're, we're too super. Small yeah, yeah, we're too. We're super cool. Are you going to the University of Arizona right now? I mean, we're not super cool. We're near. Well, I was saying he's. But I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're Boy. cool with, with talking about where we are yeah, and just, what we're doing. I just finished my. Well, my ah, PCs. Yeah, I finished my associate at Pima last year. And yes, I'm, PCs. I'm in my second half of my degree at U of A right now. So I have wow. a friend that works at uh, Pima Community College mm-hmm. as one of their architects. Dude, that's that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's my funny. brother was a was an Aztec when they had yeah. a hockey team. I <laughs> remember when they had that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so very cool, uh, man. If you're if you're here, just uh, we normally meet around uh, <laughs> seven to eight at Thursdays. Oh, uh, look it up. Our Galen do you, do you know? Answer. Do you know? I don't want to give his last name out. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is what? this Galen? <laughs> no, <'cause, laughs> no, he's got his masters in anthropology. Uh, I don't know if you watched. I don't know if you watched last week, but the guy that was at the uh, end oh, of the yeah, table, Galen. Yeah. Is is got his masters in anthropology yeah, or archaeology? But, yeah, but still, I mean, but it takes anthropology. Fields. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, classes. We're, we're so. familiar with anthropologists. So mm-hmm. very cool, man. Very cool. Anthropology is the shit, man. It's cool stuff. Yeah, it's especially it's, in this region. There's so much. There's mm-hmm. so much stuff out here. All right. Now I gotta go pee. So you keep buttering up, Joe. So no, seriously, well. <laughs> UDII archaeology is a branch of Ben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I think he's mentioned that before, actually. I know, I right? I the lights on. How can you run into that? <laughs> Dayton, are you going to run a one off for us next week? Oh, yeah, we'll be here next week. <laughs> Dayton, I would absolutely love to watch you. <laughs> Watch me Run struggle it. to figure out how to do Yeah, man. Because it makes it easy. Do I know if these guys are evil? <laughs> I feel like you should make some sort of check. I'm like, yeah, I'll check. <laughs> <laughs> what check would that be, Dave? Uh, <laughs> just, just roll. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, just be like, just roll your die and I'll tell you if you did it or not. You that one through four you've heard. Or <laughs> I like, roll something lower than seven and I'll say yes. Yeah, I'm with you on that. We're just joking because next week we're gonna not we're not gonna play Dragon Board again because Robert will be gone. So we're gonna do a one off again is what we're joking around about doing. But Dayton's never run a game. He's never actually played Dungeons and Dragons. He just hangs out with us while we play. Robert inspiration. Yeah, okay. yeah Robert yeah, inspiration yeah, yeah, yeah. for that. I was trying to give him, if Dayton didn't already have it, I was going to give him that inspiration to to yes. apply to that sick yes. burn. Uh, God. He's just going to stand there and be like, bring it. Do your okay. worst. Oh, that's pretty bad. Um, so, uh, where, where are we at? Um, Cheers to you, my prince. Friends. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Clan gold, uh, good. Ah, yeah. All right. Okay, next is guy. Storm sorcerer is slower, but Bane is a whole. I'd buy it. That'd be oh, a fun yeah, one shot, actually. That yeah, would be yeah. a fun one shot. I mean, is Hawkeye really an arcane archer? Uh, <laughs> he has effects on his arrows. No, so he that's does. That's the way you'd have oh, to do it. Shit. Um, <laughs> Yes. Yeah, buy it. Right. It's on the black market. Where you bought climbers tools. Like a uh, so, <laughs> so anyway. Um you found out about the Red King Raiders, but I think you had another question for this oh, guard. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, no, so I, I got some wrapped up in the truth on the yeah. Rinsodius! No, I got excited. Hey, Rinsodius! Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Jesus, tell it us what's up. Um Rinsodius, are you in Tucson? No, I don't think he is. Okay. Uh, yeah, that isn't that great. And oh I still, God. I still gave it to him as re- at regular price. I didn't even jack it up for him. Okay, uh, I'm so sorry. I got, I got so wound up in this, in this, in this discovery here. Buy, um, so like you were, you were about to ask something we, we, else, but I can't escorting remember. That they or they did escort. So us. you're inside. You're waiting up at the 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 pulpit, essentially. For the arch vigilant, the yeah. master of this cathedral, next to Adra, who founded this cathedral, um, 
to come down. Oh, but this so guard, you're still talking to the guard, and he told you about the the four threats mm-hmm. that are attacking this thing. So the four threats the pirates, are the, the Red King Raiders. There was the goblin, the goblin horde, the the pirates, the undead, and the mercenary bandits in the heart of the country. That are so destabilizing trade gonna, and attacking. <sighs> So I was going to ask him. So what's happening, just to explain, is Lord Crane, kind of a genius move. He's got these mercenaries working as bandits in the heart next to the capital and in the main Mm -hmm. cities. Where so he's so he's got he's got the armies protecting the main cities. So now the outlying areas, the ports, Mm -hmm. the east and the west, easy pickings, easy pickings for these other armies and grew and pirates that he's got set against them. So it's a it's a pretty good destabilization tactic. Ah, perhaps we can. Perhaps we we don't necessarily need to do any of these things. I just want to know. I was going to ask of the whereabouts of the champion. Uh, so the Arch Vigilant does arrive. Uh, she is in breastplate and chain mail, has a uh, yeah, wrapped around her. She has mm, a, a morning, uh, not a morning star, a mason chain, like a ball and chain type of weapon. Uh, so that the and the orb itself is a fist that's holding. Sunglasses. Spikes. Oh. Like it's holding a spike and it's got a spike that's coming out there. So it looks like a big, it's like basically a gauntlet that was filled with metal, yeah. filled with that, and the chain comes out of it. And that's hanging down off her side Very on a chain. Cool, I say. She's pretty badass. She has a helm, yeah. helm's symbol engraved on her breastplate. But this isn't the champion that we This is not the champion. This no. is not the Asimar that you dealt with. No, I, I agree with that. I'm going to say. Hail and, and thank you for coming to see us. We, uh, I represent Lord Sabbath Goldath of Clan Goldath, Tiamantha. We are here uh, with uh, with Ayasa, a student of a student of uh, Tolan the Seer, seeker. the Seeker, the Seeker, and uh, Tolan the Seeker, who your champion is sworn to protect. We have come here on teleportation from. Never went her in aid to help defend Cormier from the enemies upon you. These these four forces that were set, including and I would add especially the Red Dragon Lord Crane. Mm-hmm. Well, I am Cadra Fist, arch vigilant of the Cathedral of ba- of Helm in Badrand, Braden Downs. Arch President E. Cadra. Kadra Fist, Arc Vigilant. Vigilant of Helm. Yeah. We um, are not <laughs> very accustomed to the ways of your of your temples, but we know that Helm is a watcher to you, to the peoples here. Helm, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what I said. Uh, my lady is off, as you said, protecting Toland. I do not think they are currently on this plane. I think they've taken the battle, or at least their part in it, to Tiamat's realm herself. I'm going to look to Yasa and just see her reaction to that. No, he's normally in other places. Okay. (laughs) She feels like he's normally in other planes. I'll step back. (laughs) Then my lord will do without them. We come here to seek the defense of... Cormier. Well, we well, we are at alliance with Tirminther, and we are glad for your aid. There are forces coming from Neverwinter, but it may be months before they arrive. It's unfortunate. Lord Crane, he is a cunning foe to attack us in winter at such a, at such a time where we have just gotten out of war. We too have met him at... Well, it's circumstances where we could not do direct battle. There we go. Perhaps, despite our needs, you could tell us where our strengths could be most vital for you. <clears throat> Useful and vital. Certainly. And she has you come up to the, the pulpit, which 
is actually like a tactical map. Like the pulpit is not just something that she's sitting behind. It is a big stone carved map of Cormier and the surrounding areas. Bahamut, I was obviously. Like, you're, you're asking, Jesus, who are you asking? You're asking <laughs> <laughs> followers of the way of Bahamut. Like now, Bahamut. just saying. Oh, don't you, don't you. Tiamat is a god. Mm-hmm. Lesser god, but Bahamut is still only a demigod at the moment. Well, yeah, like, well. Lesser is like a fancy yeah. word for demi. <laughs> there's, there's, there's demi lesser. <laughs> yeah. We're mortals. We're gonna kick greater. TMS ass. So I think Bahamut would win. That's true. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, we're gonna help Bahamut. So. Yeah. No. We'll so see. she takes you up well, and she we'll shows you this map. Now. We're gonna try. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, she kind of like waves her hand over it, and you see that there's like trails, like carved little trails through everything and all this stuff, like the very intricate little lines through the entire map and she uses her uh, thaumaturgy to essentially like light up fires where things are happening and, and circle around and mark out things on the map and she shows um, mainly like the the central area the the capital of Cormir and the surrounding area is being destabilized by bandit attacks and these mercenaries and the core of the the dragon knights are there um, she says, like, that part is handled. Uh, it is locked down, but it keeps us from moving anywhere else. So there are three other threats that we need dealt with so that we can pull all of our forces back to deal with what's going on. <laughs> it's like the part in a video game where you, like, finally make it into the temple and they're like, Here's three things we need for you to do before we open the door. So, (laughs) if you want to get meta, (laughs) this is called theme park. This is a a theme park in D&D. Makes sense. It's you walk in and you go, oh, do you want to go to the roller coaster first? Or do you want to go to the fun house? Or do you want to go to the food court? That makes sense. I I literally asked her that. I'm like, Uh, give me directions to all this stuff. There are, and, and she says pretty much the same thing with a little bit more information that the Vigilant did. Uh, there is a horde of goblins coming from the swamplands to the east. They're coming from the southeast. They're pouring in. There is a single fort there holding back the tide. Uh, the hobgoblins are led by a... Sorry, the goblins are led by a hobgoblin who has amazing power. Like, he is just a foe to be reckoned with. And he is... Mm. Tactically, like how he's keeping this goblin horde in line, no, no one knows. But they are showing a level of discipline and coordination that has been unseen amongst the goblinoids. The the swamp always had the goblin races, and every once in a while, back in the day, a dragon got them all together and threw them at Cormier. But they were disorganized, and Cormier dealt with it fairly mm-hmm. easily. This new wave is organized, it's attacking strategically, and this warlock, hobgoblin thing, is the cause of it. What is the matter of the undead? The undead in the east... Not the southeast, though. <sighs> no, Goblins are southeast. South, sorry, southwest. Southwest, okay. I said that wrong. The goblins are coming from the west. That's where the the swamp lands are. A hobgoblin leads a sizable horde from the swamp lands in the west, southwest to be yeah. particular. In the uh-huh. northeast ish, um, a, a tower rose overnight, and a lich from Thay has set up shop. It has sent out raids and small groups of terror troops and has been attacking (laughs) our towns and outlying farmlands uh, slaying any in its path man, woman, child, soldier, citizen, doesn't matter. I'm sorry, did they they say a lich? They did, Uh, yeah. She did say a lich. A lich and has been raising them. A tower raid, like there's just a tower out there in the middle of nowhere. 
Why are they? No, no, it is not. You still need to kill the body, and if it oh, yeah. it can go and make another phylactery, <laughs> yeah, you're basically when you, if you if the lich is alive and you kill the phylactery, the soul goes back in the body and it's there, so it can go make another phylactery and put its soul into it and hide it off as well. But yeah, it's very tricky. Oh, they're fucking pain in the ass. We were TPK by a lich, weren't we? Is that what? Uh, it was a lich. But it was in possession of a mortal. Mm. It, you weren't actually facing oh, the right. lich. It was just in a body. So you're saying we, you hadn't even made it to the boss. No, yet. you did not make it to the boss. That was a sub boss. <laughs> I will say I love how different this game is from the Laverna Chronicles because, like, how no, because we were all playing like thieves. Like we always come unexpected in the places, and we just kind of like accidentally almost kill the lich because it didn't. You straight up killed that lich. You. You didn't realize that you stole its phylactery yeah, yeah, and had yeah, it in yeah, your yeah. bag. Yeah. <laughs> and it reformed next to you <laughs> yeah. and kicked your ass. <laughs> yeah, that was a. But my oh god, my. you you paralyzed that lich yeah. so effectively. It was bullshit. I, I love how we just look. Oh. I just love how in this campaign we just parade yeah. around like, here we are, we are gold up. <laughs> Yeah. So, something tells me a lot of that's you. <laughs> like, and we're I, here! I'm like, that's it! Right. I, 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 made, like, I made a magic item. Every time you show up, you're like, we're here! I'm like, Stop. I gave it a magic item to him at first level that I yeah. thought was so innocent and so innocuous that until I faced them against the lich and it absolutely fucking owned it. What you should have added to it was a saving throw. As or thing. or you can't do consecutives. Yeah, it only yeah, yeah. like it only affects the person once. But whatever. Uh, that's a story for another time. No so, so, so there's a, the there's a lich. The west, we have so the undead to the south. A tower west. has appeared. A lich has appeared. Tower, lich. It, it's like Bubble. going out and raiding, killing townsfolk and whatever, raising them back and 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 building an army. And then the fourth. The the fourth is the Red King raiders out at sea. Uh, herring the port, stopping trade, stopping them from getting troops to Timrinther or to, to get over to Chacinta and attack them. Oh. Uh, so, really? Uh, all three of these. So you got That's one cool. by sea, <laughs> one by Greenskin Horde, and one by Undeath. Well, can you tell us about the bandits well, in the Hotlands? Sorry, I, I got this wrong then. So goblins to the west, Undead to the southwest. To the east. Southeast. North northeast. 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 Oh, northeast. So, the, so the Lich King is the undead horde yeah. at the same time. Okay. So, yeah. so and, the then, and then to the south, which is on yeah. the, in the inner sea. The okay, so I got that wrong. Sorry. And, what yeah. about the, these, mer ban these mercenary bandits in the uh, hotlands? They're, Are they they're handled, but they're tying up every all the resources of the Purple Dragon Knights. So... They say, Tying up the resources and cost them to right. keep maintaining. So they, they need to send resources out to stop these hordes and this and that. But if they, if you stop any one of these three, they can pull back resources to finish off or strengthen against the bandits internally. With my opinion. Also, sorry, just one last thing. With what you guys are needing to do, if you start stopping these champions, because you don't, you haven't heard who the champion of the the bandits are. They don't no. have a name or a leader so or anything, asking. right? That you know of. But if you start taking out these other champions leading these other armies, this other arm that's supposed to be destabilizing this entire area, that's what gets you Lord Crane's attention. Oh, gee, RPG. I like and it. And that's what you need. My opinion <sighs> is that we have experience and success dealing with pirates. Mm. The Red King Raiders may be something we can handle quickly and effectively. I was at first in the opinion of, well, just defeat the outlying forces around the heartlands immediately, and then we can all focus our efforts together, but it is tying up resources. Mercenaries are expensive. We are Goldathians. We know this well. And Goldathians, I like that. Yeah, it sounds good, doesn't it? It does. So, but you make a great point on that, <laughs> and I'm inclined to agree. Then there's the undead. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> we but, have a, yeah. We have a lich. We have a paladin and a cleric. They do have a lich, which sounds like the most formidable foe. That is a very formidable foe. Well, we have, we and, have. and both of you screamed like little bitches at the uh, idea of fighting a mind flayer, so I don't know how prepared you are to fight a lich. I mean, it's first off, it 
Was that a mind player or a beholder that we're out of one Listen, mind player. <laughs> the one down with the deep doors. Beholder you encountered in. Yeah, that's, that's the that one. That is a really <laughs> fucking <laughs> personal <laughs> nickname. Yes. Yeah. Scale yeah. shitter. I love it. The one I make Did you hear what he with. called me? Scale shitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, inspiration, if you don't hear yeah. uh, I do have it, actually. So. Okay. So. So does that mean you get a. Uh, oh, do I Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Inspiration bank. That's how I learned to work. Oh, me too, because you gave it to me again. No. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Uh, Roll Frost and Xerox. Yeah. Erudition. Interesting. Erudition. Uh, you should explain that. The GS Drive, you, you seem very knowledgeable in D&D, so he's got this system going on. So if you're familiar with 5th uh, edition Dungeons and Dragons, you either have inspiration or you don't. You can't get it again. Yeah, so he, so Wiley and the Wiley Bears have set up a, a system where if you have inspiration, you're awarded inspiration again, you have a, you get a little sort of like a passive tally that goes towards character building. Right. Uh, erudition, in this game, it's simple. Uh, if you get 10 erudition... Uh, it's erudition meaning learning. Uh, if you bank up to an erudition, uh, you can learn something new. You can learn a new tool, uh, an instrument, a language. Uh, for mine, it's just 10, and it's easy, but I think in later games, I'm going to do a sliding scale, like because I'm going to allow people to buy skills, mm. new skills with it. New proficiencies. Makes if you want to, like the idea if you want to get a proficiency, like it's I learn, I learn how to lo- to use a longsword. Yeah. I'm just a, a a mage, but I've learned to use a longsword because I've been training with a with, paladin yeah. and, and a you when know all this we, stuff. Yeah, so it's we it's the, another character development. Path. When we were in the caves, heading towards the forge, I got erudition several times, and so mm-hmm. it worked out story wise that I learned orc mm-hmm. as I spent time with it with an orc child that had thieving capability and so teaching him how to help also taught me orc so I learned a, a new language. language yeah which was interesting it was kind of fun you're all about <laughs> your monks dude <clears throat> monks are badass there was someone that was making a character the other day and they're like fuck monks like they're so useless why would you even play one I'm like <gasps> What? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I thought you, I thought you were saying that. I'm like, I was like, no. Really? Badass. <laughs> They're incredible. I, I once saw, I once saw in a game a yeah, monk. Yeah, Bob badass. I once Fuck saw a team, monk man. in a game return, you know, the, the, the catch missiles? Hey, yeah. The, what's the, what's the it? Deflection missiles? Uh, <laughs> missile snaring, yeah. Yeah, yeah. missile snaring. I once saw a monk um, repel a catapult barrage <laughs> because the mechanics oh. are if you can reduce it down to, to zero damage to zero damage then you can throw it back and so there was this big battle <laughs> it was pretty high level pretty high level characters and uh this monk was uh the had had a fly or levitate one of those two I think it was fly and um, was flying in the air, and there was a catapult assailing the gates, and the monk was there, and just and it's like fighting off the catapult arc. We, we pretty much just well, it well, shot it at it once, just once. once. Yeah. It, was, it was in the path. Like the DM decided that it was in the path of a catapult barrage, and 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 used his ability, did its little roll to uh, reduce the damage to zero to zero, which it's, is fun, which is a lot. A catapult would do quite a bit. Just like damage. if you. So for you, with the gloves of missile snaring, if you reduce it to zero, you catch the projectile. Mm-hmm. For monks, if they reduce it to zero, not only do they catch it, but now they have the option to throw it back. Mm-hmm. So this oh, thing... Oh, that's... Yeah, we talked about that. This was different. This, this, I don't have that, yeah. Oh, yeah, we've all seen the shit out of yeah, catapult thing back and destroy the catapult yeah. with it. It was fantastic. All right, so there you go. <laughs> there you, <laughs> yes, I, I mean, have. You, guys have, you guys have some discussion. Um, mm-hmm. There's so, there's a lich, there's some pirates, there's a hobgoblin army. So I to reiterate what I thought, like, you know, the the lich C 
seems the most pressing and that you guys are set to do that, but I feel like the pirates are the most doable. Are you gonna well, convince him to get on a boat again and fight things? I, I said that I was I was against the idea of it at first, mm-hmm. but 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 you guys do have a lot of experience at the sea. That's what I said. I said like honestly, like I'm the I'm the military advisor in this in this council. I I I, I agree with the underhand. Um, dealing dealing with the sea. Sea's an important affair. We can um Oh my gosh! Uh, we can if we can man the coast. We can Both we can even get allies into places where we need them to deal with other threats. Strategically, it sounds sort weird. of dragonborn again are pretty weird. Like we're we're not outwardly well. I don't know. Are they? But, oh, out of desire. So no I, different to us than any other enemy. We like we get we are bestowed upon because of our championing. We are bestowed upon powers that are, that gives us strength against that. But it's but personally, like our our class is just the way the way that we have chosen to fight, and it is. Um, it's, and Bahuma, like the 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 things you've chosen, also give you much more against fiends and the underworld, like. You aren't anti undead paladin and right, priest. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. they do have those abilities, but the undead is not what concerns priests of Bahumat. Yeah, it we, really is evil. Which righteousness? Is it's righteousness. Yeah. It's all that. Which all three of these things are. I I'm sorry. I gotta ask. I, it's kind of a meta question, but like I'm holding the lance. This thing has requirements. Do are are these priests of Helm, requ- like? Asking for help against a specific. You've body. already chosen to come oh, help Cormier. Okay. Any of these three is okay. the thing. And I'm, okay. Am I out of place by saying that we might be a little naive about this undead or you know abomination against nature and a tortured soul is being kept on this planet? Are we a little kind of we don't really know that. I, I mean, it, I don't know it does it. feel wrong to the divine classes in this. Like, but they, it's it all does, wrong. But, it's, they're, but they're yeah, all, all of this is like, is bad. We're gonna deal with all this one way or another. What do we do? Where do we go first? What's the most strategically sound place? They, and I, and so, I also have to say that they are dragonborn divine people, which they don't worship and they don't submit to gods. They try to exemplify and they venerate the gods' ideals. So it's a much different thing. Like there's a yeah, our civilization in, has only been here for a hundred years, in and we true, didn't have gods yeah. there. And, and they don't submit. They yeah. don't submit to anyone. Submitting to a master is is slavery. Yeah. And actually, I'm just here, like literally, arcane trickster. I I take my powers, and I put them behind Savaroth, not behind yeah. Bob. I um, don't even know if I feel. How I feel about Bahamut. but I, I didn't until, we, it, until uh, we forged this. I didn't even believe it. When it comes down to it, the undead are probably the most dire threat, but it's the smallest right now. Mm. The horde is pressing. It is mm-hmm. already huge, yeah. right? The pirates are already clamping down and strangling everything. The undead horde is just beginning to grow. So you could say going there and getting it and dealing with it, whatever, but you will free up a ton more resources if you go to either of the other ones. And you do have experience with boating. Yeah. And that could be a quick solution. You don't know. It could be a protracted three-month thing, and if that happens, then that undead horde could be unstoppable at that point. Do you want player inspiration to help guide the choice at all? Also, something tells me when the GM's like, that could be easy. It, it, it is. Like, Thank you. This, is the, this is theme park. You guys get to pick. Yeah, no, I know. And, I, I, and I'll have to... I'll, I'll tell you that... From this, you have three choices. You're not going to deal with all three. Yeah. Okay. You're going to go deal with one, and then I'm going to roll randomly for another one to be resolved <laughs> by the people that are dealing with it. So while you're off doing one, another one of the threats is going to be taken care of. But another one of the threats, the other one, is going to become bigger. Well, knowing that. <clears throat> also, I don't want to. Out of character, I guess it would be like if we go fight the pirates, it'll be more. Pirates sea battle. Yeah, if you guys which is to, fun. If you guys, I mean, it is. But if you want to do something different, we don't have to go I'm back a, to I'm, the pirates. I'm, especially now, well, really now that the DM you know, has given us like, that, that's I'm, a, it is what I know. Yeah. Now that the DM has given us that, I'm actually a little more concerned about the undead now. 
Because they're not the biggest threat now. Now, now but... But guess what? People are dying wanna, left and right all around uh, us. To, to show the, the <laughs> thing, though, is this. If you... If you leave the pirates and they don't get taken care of, ports start dropping, like, boats full of troops and things start sinking, right? It, the, the pirate fleet doesn't get any bigger, Re but the damage it does is, is that. Not so much reinforcements come quicker by sea. If we can control the docks, that gives us health faster. If, if, if the horde, if the horde doesn't, bigger. the horde doesn't, the horde gets more people with it, and it, it goes further inland, but... Each of these things is already an imminent threat. If you deal with each of those things and the undead doesn't get dealt with, then it becomes the initial threat that these already are. Because it's already behind. It's just starting to be a, a horde of undead. But it will become like Split a party. horde of undead. Split yeah. the oh my but, uh, god. No. Be no. Each commander. No. Oh! Nope. 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 Uh, I'm vetoing that idea <laughs> right now. Prince Sonius, you know me no. so well. Uh, but, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Is, That'd be amazing, though. Is the undead would be a bigger threat, but they would only just be beginning to be the threat that the, the, un, the Goblin Horde and the pirates already are. So, by no means, all of these threats are imminent and important. I don't have a care of which way you go. I have yeah. all three planned out. Do whichever one you want. All right, so we can go ahead and take hey, care Geo of the Hey, Geo, couldn't meet us at Thursdays right now. I think we're, it sounds like we're wrapping up uh, here. No, we got, go well, we got 30 minutes. We can, minutes. we can start the, the progress of whatever you choose. Uh, Geo Stellar, what, do you have a... a you want to throw... Well, he wanted to use. He wanted his, to go to. He wanted to give us an idea of what's happening to the people being brought back by the undead. Oh well, I mean, they're. Oh okay. Do you, do you want to oh. use your inspiration for that? Mm-hmm. I think he does. All right. Or if you use your inspiration does, from that, think. you do get infor more information. You have given more information to the party. Oh, thank you. He gives Geo's us. He gives us information. All right. So. Uh, Inspiration information. We're going to call it Geo Info. Or, Geo Info. Or actually, like, Inspiration. Yeah. Uh, the Red Wizard, the the Lich is a Red Wizard of Thay. He's a low level noble of Thay. Uh, his name is Zelzis. S Z E L apostrophe Z I S. Oh, fucked up the first letter. Boom. I'm like Zelzis. Zelzis uh, is a super paranoid. He, he's pretty low on the ch on the chain, but he's wanting. He's got a lot of ambition, and that's why he chose to do this. The tower he brought here is his tower from Thay. Somehow he summoned it up, or he translocated he's a it here. Uh, he's listed as a member of the Red Wizards of Thay? Uh, most of the Red Wizards of Thay are, Thay are witches. Do these guys know anything about Thay? The, uh, the, the main leader of the... The main The main leader of the Red Wizards of Thay is a lich who uses gifts of lichdom uh, as, as rewards to others. So they, he is a lich. God, the they red were the things that we, so we encountered in, in Neverwinter. So they're, they're, they're always dicks. They're, they're always dicks. They are, we, magical dicks. So this um, means that we also have experience fighting Thay as well. Dicks. So yeah, he, yeah. this lich is a red wizard of Thay. As, as, as much as anyone can have experience fighting wizards. So he is an he has an artifact. He is given an artifact <laughs> called the Mal Aster. Oh, they can't be dicks if they're skeletons. Right. He's been given an artifact called the Mal Aster. Yeah, I bet. Malaster. Malaster. The Mal Aster, the Dark Star, the Bad Star, uh, that. The Malester. Uh, that he is using to keep the dead here. He's basically. This thing is blocking the path of all around it from going on to their mortal reward when they die. So then he's using it to con to make undead and control them. So there's an item... <laughs> same joke, same joke. <laughs> yeah, same joke. Yeah. He is going after kids, women, children, yeah. citizens and soldiers alike. Everything is being raised. Zombies, skeletons, whites, 
Uh, Whites. Blacks, no. Mexicans. W I G H T H. Come on. Uh, well, sorry about our sponsorship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Propositions, everybody. Oh, my uh, God. Working with tomorrow's you. Uh, so, <laughs> there is. He specifically has an item that's allowing him to maintain this undead horde. Well, shit! Does that make you want to fight him more or less? Or. Uh, and that's information that gives I think us the like us. Holland. I think it's a Dutch beer. Leon. I think. It's Dutch. Yeah. Blue brewed in Holland. Oh, it's from Holland, Netherlands, yeah. Um. So you have more information about the witch. I must say, you know, I'm Which conflict. also means if you can neutralize that artifact, the undead army goes away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm really am. I'm. I was with you, Zionax. I was with you. Controlling the ports is an important strategic, militarily speaking, purely militaristic. That is an important first important ground to achieve. But I, I am stupid concerned about these undeads. Stupid. <laughs> stupid. Stupid concerned. Stupid concerned. Stupid concerned about these undeads. As much, you just stop that right. stupid. as so, much experience as we have fighting pirates, perhaps <laughs> My other, perhaps the undead is what needs our main focus. So, Savroth, you have you. the you have an expertise oh at God. at ocean and, and port and, and being at the sea. You can I fight pirates. Right now. Hmm. Right. I hate your team. I hate my team. <laughs> you have you have an expert at fighting pirates. You can like maybe you can neutralize that thing quick. Who knows? Uh, but blood. you also have extra information about this lich, what it is, and how to neutralize its power. Even if you don't defeat the lich, if you can get that artifact away from it, that stops the army. Um. So I, I think that's the two. I think you're gonna ignore the goblin horde. Maybe we don't even have to fight the lich. What? You, well, I mean, unless you have an inkling to do that. We so might not what have is? To fight the pirates either. We could come up with novel ways of stopping their. Uh, what is the decision? Port. Ports, undead, goblins. <laughs> you just go total third round. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, fuck these goblins. Right. Fuck what everyone else is saying. We'll go back uh, to Neverwinter. Fuck this whole land. Just oh, forget yeah. Cormier. Yeah. We'll, find a, we'll find a champion elsewhere. That's Cormier well, anyway. I'm, so I want to reiterate that our, uh, our I, know, I know that you really, like, you guys have been focusing on finding the the champion, champion. the chosen but and doing the last part. Drawing Crane out is important. But drawing too. Crane out and killing a dragon is kind of the next step along the line. And it might, yeah. I was going to say, also killing the dragon and helping these people out might bring their champion out who's just like, hey, cool, Muffin step button. three, you know. Oh, yeah. by the way, something I discovered. So there's a new Artificer class. I fucking love it. Yeah, it, what's it's, this? You've been talking what's about it quite a bit. So the Artificer class uh, uses tools, it, it builds things, but it casts spells and it has uh, other abilities to make items, but he casts spells through the use of tools, and you specifically have to do with tools. There's like alchemists, or you could be a, a stone carver, you can be a gym cutter, and and and, and view magic and things. But uh, uh, the greatest thing ever is if you're in D and D Beyond and you're making an artificer, and you have to pick a set of tools, and that becomes your arcane focus. That becomes the method of your spells. Uh, right? So if you're an alchemist, you make potions. If you're a gem cutter, you make empowered gems. Whatever it is, if you pick an instrument, you're doing music. Kind of bardish. But on that list is Cook's Utensils. And that's the best fucking thing this. ever. We talked about this the fact, that, this, the fact yeah. that you can make it's magic muffins, food, yeah. you can that's make you can make fire breath hot sauce to do burning hands. I love the idea. <laughs> you can do ma- healing muffins. <laughs> you and can do bless cookies. My, like, my favorite thing oh. was when we first talked about that kind of concept was the was the bag where if, if everyone's you got a bag. You share food with everyone. Where, so like it's, it's like a bag of <laughs> bag of many hands. The bag of many hands. I bag of many hands. Oh yeah, yeah. You put it in and everyone's got that also that bag yeah. has it. So all so your you spells your, your are food. So amazing. I like love it. I, I, I want to run a cook artificer 
so bad. I will, I will run. I will fucking dare to run a campaign just so you can yeah. play that uh, like, class. So good. Yeah. Uh, fucking uh, beer that levitates you. As soon as we kill this prince. The, the fizzy lifting drink. Campaign. The fizzy lifting drink. <sighs> All right. So, uh, quiet in the... So you just want to make Willy Wonka. <laughs> right. Quiet in the panel. Savroth. Yes. <laughs> what is your final decision? Uh, given this new information, I would probably be more inclined to, like, let's just go deal with the undead. You fool! Uh, uh, Excellent, my lord. Don't, no one listens to me. Hey, I'm just kidding. Everyone kidding? always listens to me. <laughs> I know, I know. So I tried before, like, y'all went into debating earlier and Geo Seller gave out inspiration. <laughs> you guys are both, like, pirates. And I was trying to say, like, let's go deal with the pirates. But y'all kept talking, so I was like, right, We're just joking. Right. If you, you say, can and then, say undead, let's go And undead. then... He gave his inspiration to give us more information about the undead, and then you both switched and kind of like, well, maybe we should probably well, deal with that. If you want pirates, no. then... Because... Yeah, you want now, one up. thing to understand is that the Lich, besides having the undead horde that may grow, you also know that if you get this ar artifact from it, it all stops. And then we have the artifact, too. I mean, true. If you don't destroy it or somehow get rid of it another way, but... If you, like, the entire undead army is stopped by one thing, right. no matter how big it gets... We can blitzkrieg and steal right. it away. Can, yeah. These other things keep doing damage the longer they're up. Well, we have the undead so. army, that's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. I have an undead army. Uh, <laughs> so, is like, yes. So... Man. We're going the undead route. All, All right. right. Okay. There it is. Uh, I got it. I mean, we're talking like, <laughs> like I was trying, I was just trying to like get my voice heard earlier and be like, all right, let's take care of the pirates real quick. But then we can still take the can, pirates. Can we can be the goblins if you want to go. You crazy. still have like, all that information. You, you gotta understand, like it's not, it's like it's like no harm, no foul. We're going to the undead. Right. Okay, my lord. Yes, let's go to the undead. Fuck, <laughs> Zelsus. <laughs> I'm tired of like uh, I'll the arch around yeah. this decision. I won't just fucking let's go. Uh, the arch vigilant um, says you need to go to the village. What do you mean we need to do? You need to go to the village of Hillshan. And There you will find a war wizard by the name of Zanves Salm. <coughs> he has God, been a war wizard named what? Zanves Salm. Salm. S O L M. Zanves. S A L M. But P S L. Candace Paul. Uh, Zanves Salm. Uh, he is a war wizard that has been coordinating the efforts against Chancellor's the call. Lich. <laughs> Excellent. We're, we're looking for pantsless call. <laughs> or canvas Paul. One of the two. Or canvas Paul. You know, <laughs> if either of them is available. We'll, we'll see what they're up to. Talking to those people. How far away is uh, Hill Hill Well, Bay. you guys are in the north west of Cormier, and he is in the northeast. Northeast. So. Two days. Two days. Three days. Two to three days. What a lot. Farbier is not huge. Yeah. I mean, it is actually pretty big, but I will. Oh, look! You see, well, are, is hell? Are the servants of hell and the forces of Cormier able to fend off the forces of these mercenary, uh, these mercenary bandits while we quest against the undead? The mercenary bandits, like all of the forces of Cormier, are at the central. You know, are in the towns protecting everyone. This, this campaign may take us weeks. <clears throat> That's how long it takes for wars. I fear if this. And we just got out of one that took years. I, I fear just... in this, if this action takes longer than a week, then we will have serious problems to deal with in the future. Imagine how how worse the situation we be, we would be in if we didn't have that magical teleportation to get us over here. Remember, remember the risk we took marching away from Cormier in hopes of some teleportation circle. Imagine if we got to Cor got to Neverwinter, 
saw that the oh the magic circle oh that broke that, that that's broken in the ruins and then we had to march all the way back I, Who just knows? remember the last time you did a trek from the sword coast to Cormir or actually the other way around Cormir to the sword coast you encountered a giant fucked up fighting drow yep. found a hunter I didn't fuck up <laughs> <laughs> you got put to sleep <laughs> Found a hunter to hunt a werewolf, who then you found but the werewolf we was cool. The banner right now, still, <laughs> right? I feel like we did pretty good. I think they fucked up. Also, like technically, the things ended up in our favor. <laughs> it did, but it was a lot of time. It was a lot of time. Despite him getting put to sleep and falling off of a ledge, maybe that was part of my plan so you guys could have something to do that night. Oh, so, uh, what a teacher. Uh, <laughs> like, what is this? Oh, a so like, what is this Savroth guy about anyway? Is he supposed to heal or something? Like, let me fall off a ledge and see what he's about. Oh, Sa- dude, Savroth, like, Savroth, I got put to sleep and, and lost really footing. Was. I like fell yeah. off like two stories. <laughs> I was injured from my fall. That was so Geo Stillers, that's what you wanted as well? You wanted them to go fight uh, the Lich? Because, man, that's fucked up to let a level 8 party fight a Lich. But we're not doing it. <laughs> Wait, we did it at level five. What? Last what? Time. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> you remember Liches would defecate us last time we saw one? Yeah, we and that was just its. Three. That was just its. No, it wasn't a lich. That was just a a possessed elf. The twenty possessed by a lich. Yeah. What? That's fine. We're the better than that. Yep, yeah, you're totally yeah. better than that. It's okay. cool. <laughs> Let's go do this. Yeah, no, this is this is actually cool. Your, your so, corners are starting to get warm. They're shinier. Let's. Uh, I love it. You guys have. It, it makes us cooler, cool. really. Yeah. I, know, I was excited so about it. Start early today, so. Sorry. You no, guys. Our, our our metal dice are finally starting to wear in, where you can see. The corners are copperier, shinier, shinier. Like we're actually getting some use out of them. Yep. And I don't, these, like, I don't, that's yeah, totally these, the, yours these, are, have, yours are, these have these edges. I was going to roll mine a lot. <laughs> we know. Yours are, yours are I just stand in the background most of the fucking time and go, okay. oh, You're really no, good, good at being like, go get killed. We're like, yeah, yeah. oh, like, roll, roll, yeah, yeah, like, let's go that's, get killed. He's playing, he's role playing the noble. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, so you head. From the east of Cormir to the west of Cormir. Uh, going to the west. Welcome back! Uh, heading to the west, it becomes more wooded and hilly. Uh, or that one. Very much more like you're going into uh, like Johnny Depp's Sleepy Hollow realm uh-huh. <laughs> from the nice big yeah, plains. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. the east was plains. You, the northwest of. Uh, Cormier is getting a Dale Lands, which is massive forests. So there's forests, there's some misty, you know, mornings and dew laden tracks. Uh, it is definitely getting crisper and colder, though there is less snow because it's more humid here and it doesn't stick, it melts. Is the Christmas at all magic? Christmas. Crisp. Crisp. No. Crispness. No. It's, it's literally just physical it's, weather. Yeah, it's just, you're going into foresty, higher lands. Is the Christmas Christmas magical? Is the Christmas, <laughs> Christmas, Christmas magic? is magical. <laughs> Santa Claus does it. Gold detect magic. It um, is. Christmas is magic. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, here's a challenge to anyone out there that wants to take it. Um, Warlock Pact to St. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. uh, all transportation and conjuration spells... Uh, oh, yeah, creating yeah. creating items and, and being able to transport into people's yeah, homes yeah, and yeah. shit. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. He is kind of unnatural. I, I think you could have. Yeah, I think you could be an agent of Chris. Kirk- Just Kirk- a, <laughs> you're an a, agent of Chris. Yeah. Kirk- Protection of good and evil. Yeah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I think those are even gooder than Yep. I'd like to re-roll, check twice, and so, like you get. <laughs> oh, advantage on detect evil. Checking, you know, <laughs> <laughs> on insight, Chicken advantage on nice. insight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is this person naughty or nice? <laughs> Make sure you check it twice. I will. Pink, pink. Oh, shit. oh my god. Uh, I know um, we didn't like fight or anything, but I, giving, I had a blast of session, I gotta say. Uh, you're not done yet. We got like 10, 15 minutes, but I'm giving everyone inspiration for the Chris Kringle 
Uh, tangent. Yeah, <laughs> give it. Give, All right. give me that weird chart inspiration. What do you call it? Invocation? Uh, erudition. Erudition. Uh, I can't want to say irrigation, but I know that's wrong. Uh, all right, so... Nothing. You, uh... It's not that good irrigation, but what? <laughs> Did we pee on you? Uh, so you get out there, and there's... You find the, the town of Hillshan. Um, the town is like a sleepy farming village there you uh, you pass a herd of sheep out in the field uh, you see a uh, shepherd out there sitting underneath a lone tree he kind of like looks out at you waves you know wave back oh hey yeah so hey. stupid sits out there like, oh damn it um now he knows uh and you get into this the small hub of a town. It's kind of situ- like most of the buildings are situated on the hill. There's a uh, church that seems to be non-denominational. There's several uh, sigils outside of various gods, gods of like Shantia, the god of nature. It's and, multi-denominational. Uh, yeah, well, true, multi-denominational. It, it is just a shrine to come to worship any god that you want to give credence to. Several signs out there, especially yeah. of, of nature, farming, luck, uh, and a couple others. Um, Yandala. And across from that one church is the one inn uh, called the Sleepy Hill. So that's the difference. So for non denominational churches, is where you show up to worship the same God in different ways. Whereas with pantheons or multi-denominationals, you come to worship in the same space, but not to the same, same God. Ah, oh, I didn't know that, actually. So, I thought yeah. non-denominational was, was a following my idea, we bo- and, and you're, appreciate you're whatever only, God would appreciate mm-hmm. that. You're, you're only going to find non-denominational churches, ironically, in Christianity. Yeah. So when you come well, to so worship, when you come to worship God, yeah. Yeah. the Christian God, you can be Catholic, Presbyterian, mm. Methodist, ah. Presbyterian, and still still worship the same God. Whereas with the Pantheon, you come to worship fertility, you come to worship, you know, illegality, you come to worship something specific from somebody yeah, specific so in the same just, space. I might be mixing up uh, non-denominational with a uh, Unitarian. And you, uh, you're, you're entering the uh, the, the theological, philosophical yeah. portion of the... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, he got Wilder married at the Unitarian <laughs> Church dressed as stormtroopers. Yeah. And that he is the bitch and you're the butch. Wait, I'm the bitch? Uh, so, uh, there's only one inn, the Sleepy Hill Inn, across from that one church. Uh, there's a couple of, like... We're about to wake them up. Nope, they're open. Like, you're getting here just as as the sun is setting uh, over the forests to the... West. Um, west. And, uh... Last lights are casting over this. You see that the lights are on in the inn. Uh, you saw really no one else besides that one shepherd out with his flock... Uh, and uh, yep, the inn is yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's cozy. It's, it's two story and it's long. Uh, it's like the biggest building here. Uh, smoke is coming out the top. You smell meats and and cooking food as you ride up. Uh, the stable is not attended. Uh, you see horses in there, and there are slots available. We don't, really but you don't need that. Uh, but like, there's not an attendant outside at all. Like, I mean, who doesn't need a slot? Hey. So, uh, you arrive at this inn. That seems to be the only building that's like active and, and welcoming in the small little do town. We, do we walk or do we? You rode your chargers. Your chargers. Oh, yeah, your chargers. Uh, your we don't chargers. need stables. Does right. the town seem underpopulated? Like, are there? Is it real? Is like sleepy? Like no one's here, or sleepy? Like no. One's Everything here? looks maintained. Like there's not overgrowth. Gardens are trimmed. There's like things outside. Doors are shut and shutters are closed, but they don't look like in disrepair or that they're abandoned. So it looks like there's people here. You just got here late and they close up early gotcha. in this town. 
Okay, so it doesn't look like it's ignored or it's been nope. abandoned. Or okay. Well, say you, my brothers, do we insist or do we, we go in loud or we go in quiet? I mean, it's the sleepy hollow in. The maybe sleepy we should, hollow in. Maybe sleepy we should wake in. them up and let well, them know the situation. I think we should go in sleepily. Well, that would be customary, but these are uncustomary times. We believe it. We don't need yeah. to go in boisterous and loud. There's, there's no need to bang on anything. Right? No, I there's, think we There is no need to make ourselves right. known as anything other than passing through. Don't dead open uh, inside. We might make more headway in uh, information if they don't realize we are here. Read the chat. There's a chat. Come on. <laughs> you don't need to bust in there like you're fucking invading the place. They're yeah, already I being see. invaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's going yeah. on here? We're the zombies, I promise! <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, a room for four, please. So, uh, <laughs> do you enter the, the Sleepy Hill Inn? Yes. 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 Okay. So, all right, you enter the Sleepy Hill Inn. Oh, does the door make that Grrr. sound? Grrr. Yes, it does. Grrr. Grrr. We already fucked up. This. And it's weird because it's the door that just long. The, the door just opened, <laughs> and then that sound just kept going for so long. It was projected. <laughs> Someone's using thaumaturgy to make a sound. Like, like, does it really though? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, you never know. You never know. It might. It fucking might. I don't know. No, you. Inside oh. is inside is lit and Coral. warm. The the smell like the warmth hits you and it feels great from being outside in the cold. <laughs> all except for Savroth. From being outside in the cold, the warmth hits you. The smells of of food, fresh cooked food, hit you. And you walk in, potatoes. and uh, so there's a bar in the back corner. There's a hearth off to the side. There's a entire contingent, uh, about twelve. Purple dragon knights in full armor oh, standing there around the hearth. Just There's citizens that are behind them, uh, and in front of you is a man. Like eh, He's not like directly in front of the door. He's far away back. But you see bartender and you see other people, but it looks like they're waiting for oh. you to enter. And the man that's standing in front of you is in uh, black and purple robes. Uh, he oh. is a dark-skinned man uh, with amber-colored eyes, bald head, and he's got a like 